There you go. You are live. Yes, you are live. live. The bottom line is <laughs> everything changed in the last three minutes when T Ty walked in because I had a whole speech going on and limo talk. It's me, Anthony Grazade. Grazie day. Grazie day. Born up extraordinaire, Richard Zarelli. Inns 41. Bobby Inns 41 in Zarello. Sitting over here because I haven't let her on yet because I'm going to make my beef and known is t- tea time with Teresa Teresa Farrell. <laughs> and in the back is uh, Bobby Lacerra from Strong Island TV. Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, Graz. Doing good. <laughs> doing good. Selection time. We've been we doing go. a lot of um, walking for the best candidates in all Election. of Nassau County. Okay. And I uh, just want to quickly... Acknowledge. Oh, here we go. Without telling you who, who I think you should vote for, <laughs> I'm just going to say, listen, uh, you know, you pick who you think is the best candidate. You should right? just leave that there at the home. You know? You should just leave that there at home. I, uh, you know, there's certain people who I think are just really, really good. Mm-hmm. And, um, really? and I'm not really trying to influence anyone. I no. really am not. Of course But not. I think when you go to row B, you should just look over there and say, you know, I'm filling in these circles. Really? You know? Get Supervisor Clavin yeah. to, yeah. to sponsor John our show, Clavin please. John Clavin is one of the best people we know. I've met in all my years of uh, doing all this Wow, stuff. that's the most you've ever done. That's the most. You never walked in with a sign in all these years. No, because the Kate Murray is, years of the Islanders. Well, Kate's great, too, and she's running again, too, for... Um, Here she, we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is the... Um, what is it? What are they... What are they County Super. executive or no? Not. She's not. She's uh, Town of Hempstead clerk. treasurer. Or something. Clerk. She's Town of Hempstead clerk. clerk. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, that's she big, used to be the supervisor. That's a big that's job. Why, clerk, that's why I get by the way. I get confused because she used to be the town supervisor. And now she's the clerk. And Don Clavin, who went from receiver of taxes to <laughs> to, to um, now is the uh, Town of Hempstead supervisor. And then you got Janine Driscoll, who is now the receiver of taxes. So. But all good people, really, really good people. And I got this guy, Shariar Ali, who's running for um, legislator. You said to look out for his legislator. Name. Yeah, he's legislator. Legislator. You should vote for him. Good people. I've worked with them all. I'm, I've walked with them all. I've talked to them all. Really, truly honest people. Who's your so, biggest competition? Who's the biggest competitor um, they have? Common sense and a guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> what, what is it? I, I, That's my, a, I, it's a Seinfeld reference. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't even. Yeah. So when, uh, I don't even know who's Morty running against you know, the condo president. Because, except for maybe one or two candidates on the other side, I really don't even know the hell the other ones are. But Bill is Gaylor he, is, is he running one. against Bill, somebody? Oh my God, Bill Gaylor was annoying. He's a great guy, great guy. He's running again, and they try to attack him, but he's just you know, he's, he's got it. He's just got it. Man. We've seen what goes on in Washington. We've seen what goes on um, in uh, certain circles. And you got to be just fed up. You just got to be fed up with what's going on in our government, in our country. And uh, if we keep it up. It, if local government stays the same, maybe we can somehow have a decent life here in Long Island. But the federal government is just. Come back up. Uh, you can sit back here. Go get a chair and sit behind. And lots of indictments uh, yeah. coming Trump's way. Get a chair. Come sit with, hang out with He's us. He's like Al Capone. Indictment, indictment. That's all they do. Gotta get a chair. Ten for ten tonight. Christy Miller. Comedian yeah. Christy Miller coming in. Uh, board up. Did they really lose in the last five seconds to the Dallas Cowboys? Yes. The Giants. The Giants. Uh, no, it was 20... Uh, 28-23. Oh, now right, by right. five. We, we, they missed the uh, they missed the two point conversion on the uh, on the last touchdown because Dak stepped out of bounds. That's what yeah. Uh, and had he not stepped out of bounds, they would have got the two point, and then they would at the end of the game they would have just just been kicking for a, a field goal to tie it. Send it to overtime. Football is so, uh, contradictory in many ways. It was about a half, of, you know, half of a front of a foot I saw it. that he yeah, stepped out. Uh, That's the difference in the game, right there. But yeah. you know what? They do all this crap with. He should feet, know where his where, foot is. Where your feet are, and then where the yeah. ball is. You know, ball breaking the plane should not be a touchdown. Your feet should go into the end zone. That's, I just can't stand. If your feet determine. Oh really? You don't like that? No, I hate it. They mm. do it all the time now. If that's, the, I know. That's, and they, well, that's, that's the rule. That's the stop. Wait, that is the stop. 
to go to TV to get more, to give them an excuse to get more commercials. Because well, what they're saying is, that? you got to cross the plane with the ball. But if your knees hit, that's why they always go and say, "All right, now we've got a now it's under review. Let's go back and look at it." So they can go now to have two, two, two nah, or three commercials from. That. I'm telling you, I, I'm sick of watching guys well, reaching over with the ball over the end zone. Get out of here. Put your feet in the end zone like you anything break else. The plane. You got you got to have your feet inbounds to catch a ball. What if you if you hold it over the uh, inbounds area? That should not be good if if, you, if putting it over that the end zone. That is good. What you got to do is touch the no. inside of the pylon. Oh no no. With your the ball. Your feet got to be in. I'm talking about when you catch a ball yeah, on but, the sideline. Yeah, but what if you're diving for it and your feet don't get in, but yes, the ball yes. gets no, in? The, the, so the, now has, the ball's in the, the end ball zone. Has your to feet aren't the, in the end zone, no. but it's not a touchdown. No, that's not. The ball has to cross the plane. So in other words, if this is the Here's line, the if you if that little well, that if ball you're hit, catching a touchdown, in. the feet have to be in. But Run, but reaching across, but rushing, smashed, no, it's just the ball. And knocked back to the five yard line, right. and they call that a touchdown because he reached over and broke the plane. Get out! Of here. <laughs> Stupid. It's about as dumb as uh, the uh, throws over to first base in baseball. You notice how many there aren't now since they changed that rule. I mean, runners just might as well just take second base. So, well, they do. They steal all the time now because of it. But um, uh, I mean, that's you what know, they want. I, I do like the pitch clock. I gotta say, I do. I like. The that's pitch. the only thing you do like. I do. You don't like, like the it. ghost runner. Uh, no, it's horrible. No. Horrible. No, ghost no the ghost runner is. Terrible. I don't want to talk baseball. All but night the tonight. pitch clock is uh, is definitely helped. No, I think it gets. Right. I think it gives the players a more flow to the game. All right, share the show, everybody. Please share the show. Uh, Greg D. Filippo and Taz, the resident artist, and Bruno Capolo and Ann Rothney and uh, uh, the other gentleman, uh, Gatto, Frank Gatto, uh, was Louis, Louis Gatto. I owe you guys an apology. Your shirts are all packed up there right here. <laughs> They're still here. My, I got them all. Look. They're all packed up. The guy at work is sick, so I took them, and I'm going to mail them out to you guys tomorrow. So Greg's like, the guy at work? What does that mean? Oh, it's early Christmas. Wait, did you have a guy that was mailing them? Look, look we're going, one's going out to Lou Gatto in Franklin Square. Oh, nice. One's huh? going out. Well, you live with that one. You put it in a postage stamp. <laughs> Bruno is here. going out to Moulton Borough, it's New not Hampshire. Closed. Uh, hold on. Why aren't they closed? Why don't we send it in the Christmas stocking? Spring Hill, Florida for Greg. Mr. DiFilippo. It's Christmas. Well, I'll Greg wants talk. me to put like... Uh, Taft, well, right California. after Halloween, it is Christmas. I know, it is. I know. It Taft, is. California. I got I have people putting their trees up. Hold on. And, wow. Uh, Not me. And Taz is in Johnson City, Tennessee. I didn't know Taz is in Tennessee. I didn't know he was in Tennessee. I thought she was in uh, West Coast. How far yeah. is that from Nashville? She's close. To I thought Taz was West Coast. Sorry, Taz. Yeah, I thought she was in like Wisconsin. No, actually, I don't know what the hell I thought. All right. So Bobby and I had a long conversation. On we had a Monday. talk. We had a real. We had a huh? nice talk. And the talk stemmed from. My aggravation with my female co-host. I, I saw you laughing in the audience, though, when she said how she loves to hang out with her husband. I'm like, you do? Yeah, that's what well, I was laughing. I'm like, that is, because that you, is a uh, statement you don't hear too many You were women sitting there say. going, you do? You were looking at her with such, how, how are you getting along with your husband since you don't get along I with your husband? I was like, husband? you do? So I call Wait, him. Who are we talking about? I, he heard when I came. Monday night, I, when I, came. Monday night, I crashed, tried to crash Teresa's. Do you know I heard about that? <laughs> mm. What did you hear, Bobby? <clears throat> I heard that you were rude. I'm never rude. I'm in the zone. She was like she was like a dog with a bone that somebody was trying to take. Going, <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> is so not true. She was in show mode. No. Oh, listen to me. I'm so in the zone. You don't understand. I didn't even see you leave. But T, you are so good at what you do, and your show is a oh, good show. Oh, stop that, too. That either cat. No, I like her show. I think I... <laughs> Let's not I, get ridiculous, I, I, I like T's show here at Strong Island. I think it's... Poor not a little heavy. T, you know what? One thing you do, I know you could take bullshit. And I know you could take... And I know you like to give it. And I like That's to right. give it. So, and I like to laugh at it. T, I, I, pur I purposely came in with 20 minutes to go. And I purposely went to the liquor store and bought $25 worth of liquor. From the oh, that's very nice These of little you. small... And I, I purposely didn't wear my glasses because I didn't know you were going to spit in my eye. I didn't oh spit yet, did God. I? I didn't spit yet. <laughs> uh, I'm, and I purposely came in uh, later on, didn't want to bother you. Now, now hold on. I, Bobby, you got out. goggles back there? <laughs> <laughs> Time out. I, I would like, 
See, I'm not going to tell this the right way. I'd like you to hear like what I... What oh, I here we go. Let's it, take a five-minute break. Oh, it's not five minutes. It's a rant? minute. What no, you, it's not a minute. It's like five old? minutes. It's not. No, I'm not two years old. I want you to know... You have to rant? I had Listen to, to me. If you got a problem with me, Did talk Why didn't you pick up the phone and call me? What? Listen to me. Oh, boy. You should have called me. So, we built a pretty damn good... This is really entertaining. <clears throat> Here's a playback, folks. I can't hear shit. All right, true. This is really professionally oh, done. Right, stop. Yeah. I know I'm not going to get this right on the show Sunday night. I'll be all have my mind oh. elsewhere. So let's let's call Spade a Spade Facts. and tell the true story of what happened on Monday night. Behind the scenes in this. This is true TV. It's an awesome show, and we do love her. Has a show. She does an interview. She does an interview. I think Angela was the lady's name. Uh, it was a friend of hers. Uh, they were talking about acting and everything else, and uh, you know. I was, Going into work a little bit later, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna crash, but I'm gonna do it nicely. So I go to the liquor store. I go buy four bottles of champagne, little small bottles. Cost me 25 bucks, and I purposely come in like 20 minutes left in the show. She's already got most of her questions out of the way. 26.98. So I go to sit down, and I have my bottles in my hand and everything else. And basically, Teresa. Doesn't even look at me. She just looks at the camera. I'm, on, I'm to her periphery, to her right. Periphery. Uh, and uh, basically doesn't you. say anything. Then uh, they go into break, and she mentions my name during the break. And uh, doesn't introduce. Walk right past her. Go into Bobby in the back. And Lacera tells me, you know, she's very serious about this. Yeah, I know, Bobby. I said, I'm coming in for uh, two minutes, uh, for 30 seconds. I'm going to hand her the bottles of champagne, uh, wish them a happy Halloween, and get out of there. I wasn't looking to disturb them. It was off the cuff, spontaneous. Uh, before that, when I had walked in, there's Rich Walker at the table. How you doing? Hi, Rich. How you doing? How's everything? Graz. Oh, you here now? I said, yeah, Rich. I've been here for two and a half years. Don't act like you don't know I haven't been here. But uh, we like Rich Walker. Uh, he has a, he has a uh, comedy class. Please join it. I think it's with governors. <laughs> All right, so then, okay. I go into the back talking to Bob, hanging out with Bob, and wait. I ask him the time, three minutes. Now nah, I don't want to bother her in three minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, I could bother her in two minutes. 30 seconds, I walk in. That's it. Get the bottles ready. Go to the line. She's about to come back from break. And the quote, unquote, out of Teresa's mouth is, don't cross that line. I'm like, what? And she looked at me, and that was it. And I said, okay. Walked in the back, left the bottles for Teresa, left the bottles for her guest, and I think her husband's name was Stuart, left the bottle Can for we... Bob and LaSera, and proceeded to walk out. That's the true story. Mm. Okay. Now, how would you feel after Sounds opening like up your friend. doors for eight years of spontaneous radio at any time, and you're in the last two minutes, you've already asked everything, because you're asking her at the end, so what else? Come on. All right? So, what That's else should we talk line. about? I'm not happy. Tell me I'm wrong. Good night, everybody. Come on, talk. It's me, Ins41. There's an addendum, but I'll let you. I'll let you. Go ahead. The addendum, yes, the addendum. <laughs> Can't forget the addendum. So, all right, Teresa, you have two minutes for a rebuttal. Rebuttal, go. Teresa. Go ahead, go. go ahead. The only rebuttal I have is that if you wanted to do something like that, I like to have known about it and I would have prepped for it and I would have told my guests listen the last 30 seconds of the show the mind's going to come on and let her, whatever 30 it is seconds. 30 seconds 30. No, not let, even let I'll her give you know. I was coming in to say happy Halloween so now my, no. addend my addendum is happy like happy Halloween but, <laughs> but again you don't understand when <laughs> I'm interviewing someone I am so in the zone I don't remember what I said to you and then I don't remember you leaving it was like you were like a ghost like what you were here one minute and then well, the next well it was thing, Halloween <laughs> Well, this is true. What? All right, time out. Why this is you, somewhat painful. Why are you? Why? What's painful? What's painful? This discussion. Why? It's painful. Why? Because it just is. It, I felt slighted, and I'm not allowed to talk to my guys and my team you right can, here. You can you say you felt. Can. I'm sorry you felt slighted, but but when I do my interview, I am like I'm. You ask Bobby. I am like so into it. I don't see anything else. I don't. No. 
You said, don't cross that line. I looked at you and went, what? And I, and I and and then Lucero looks at me with that Remember. happy grin on his face. <laughs> you know, she doesn't like to be interrupted. I go, no I shit, listen, Bobby. Or wait. Your your exact words. Oh boy. Her exact oh, words. Oh, her exact oh, words hold on, hold on. Well, come in the shot. I remember it well. Come in the shot. Her shot. exact words were, "Don't you dare cross, cross that." That's Ooh. correct. Don't, yes. don't, don't you, you dare, dare cross. cross. Wow. So I received. Yeah, take your fucking nuts and get out of here. <laughs> That's forceful. <laughs> so I proceed to call him on on Monday night and go. I vented. <laughs> he ventilated to me. You had to hear me. Bob, can you believe this? Well, you know. Wow, well, I apologize if I said that because that wasn't too nice. What I meant to say was don't cross the camera. Don't cross in front of the camera. I should have said that. That wasn't nice. But then again, again, you know, I don't know what you're doing. You didn't tell me. You know, you know I would never. Uh, well, I have an addendum. What do you think you was going to do, moon your audience? Listen yeah. to me. <laughs> I don't know, but well, I was closing out my show. You don't understand. I was closing out my show. I wanted to say something about Matthew Perry, which that fucked me all up, and I left that out. Well, we all know he died, so why would you have to say something? Because I wanted to mention it. Oh, he, I met him on a, on a, on a premiere. I was at a premiere once, and he was buying popcorn at the at the stand for Nyleff. <laughs> Come on, you, you, you Matthew You're Perry. Fine. Well, Come so on. Here's, here's my addendum. All right. For friends, friends, fans. Okay. What's your addendum now? You I'll did talk. another video. Yeah, I did two. You did well, an you addendum. You got nothing better to do, don't I, you? I, I no, because I wouldn't get it right. I wouldn't get it right. I'll sit here and stutter and everything else. You should so have wrote least, it down. What? No, it's that's perfect. Don't worry. <laughs> He doesn't read. Really. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to do it when I had Doc. Wait, wait, let's get it first. Okay. All right, here's my addendum to this. Also, I've prefaced it before by wait, telling wait, wait, I'm going to crush you. Have you heard this already? No. That's an SAT word. That's the many addendum. times to her. And she has been in on our show either as a co-host. I got to go. There's somebody at my door. <laughs> or as a guest. I'd say about over a hundred times. We promote everything that she has. We make fun of it, but we promote it. Uh, haven't really shown we make up fun of it, of but we so promote I it in our own little way. That's how many nights? But because she's, you know, either doing, uh, you know, nightlife or acting stuff uh, or comedian stuff. So, you know, we have never turned her down by walking in, and I've always put her on the air and then made her a co-host. So that's my addendum. You can give what, me what, Why do you keep seconds. using this word addendum? What is this addendum? And I was catching it and wasn't doing anything, going to do anything dirty. Wasn't going to come on and say, Fuck Halloween! Come on. I know Fuck what you got there. He wrote the script. Look, he wrote it. He just on up wrote it. And on Strong Island TV. <laughs> All right. Halloween, that's it. That's my addendum. Come on, Tom. It's me, Richard Zarelli. My name on it. Yeah, my name or right. your name, but never his. Got something to do with that. What? So that's how I felt. You ruined my fucking week. You ruined it. I have been miserable all week. Oh. All fucking week. One, because you haven't called me. Two, what? you didn't thank me about the goddamn. Oh my god. The, the, what's the problem? I gave her three bottles. She could at least have said it was nice of you to bring the bottles. She left them in the refrigerator in the I back. I did not leave them anywhere. They were on the table in the back. All right. This is, is going to be the It's night. over. It's done. I'm done. I made, I made my piece. She's got balls as she walks. I was not peaceful. even knowing. She doesn't even know. No, I didn't. I did not. You did not, not contact which, me. Did which, you contact me no, during the week? No, you didn't contact me. No. How am I supposed to know? You left like a ghost. Have enough. Have enough. Nuts. Crack it open for me. <laughs> Come on, that's a good one. Crack it open for me. Yeah, crack me a nut. It's getting very predictable. <laughs> oh. All right. So what else we got going on? We had um, we had a good week though. Otherwise. Oh yeah, I heard there was Belmont. a lemon ice king opening up in in, uh, in Belmont. So. Really? Well, you know what it is? A lot of places. You don't even realize it. You okay. go, I go to um, Ancona in Valley Stream. They have Ben Faramo Ice, which is Lemon Ice King. A lot of places have Ben Faramo Ice. 
Right. So but does it have a sign saying we carry? Yes, Lemon some of them King do. Of but no, it doesn't say. It just says we have Ben Faramo ice. It's like that's what Lemon Ice King is. It features it's Ben Faramo ice, and mm. um, and the fact is, a lot of places don't want to use a sub name like Lemon Ice King, so they don't do it. But uh, a lot of places do carry Lemon Ice, a Lemon Ice King product. They do. Well, I, I think that's a great thing. I really do. It's the best ice there is. Um, lemon ice king. Very so, good. Hey, let me tell you something. The name well, of the fucking place is Lemon Ice King. Do you think they're not going to have it? How could they no, not I have meant lemon. the one by my house. I hope they can. Yeah, the lemon's the most popular gotta flavor. Carry lemon. You never know. Oh, my God. How many flavors are they going to open up a Lemon Ice King and not have lemon? Yeah. We don't have lemon. Hi, we don't have lemon. lemon. I, I I lemon ice? No, Hi, we, we have chocolate. Sorry, we only carry we that in the uh, in Listen, the Queen's. Uh, we have chocolate, <laughs> pistachio, Welcome to All American Burgers. We don't have burgers. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I've gone to a couple of places where they only have rainbow. Yes. Uh, yeah, but lemon, that's not Lemon Ice King ice. No, but the most popular. Rainbow? That's rainbow, not. lemon, and chocolate is usually the ones that are at pizzerias. He's right. Because the kids want the rainbow. The parents want the, want the lemon. And if they don't like lemon, they like chocolate. So those are the three top ones at uh, Pizza According to your survey? No, I... The ground survey. No, he's right. Well, he's right. I'm agreeing with him. I've, no, right. I've taken a survey. You've what's taken your, a survey. What's your favorite... I know yours is lemon. What's your favorite flavor? I don't really order ice that much. Okay. But well, if when you, you had to... If I was ordering... I like a watermelon. Ooh, See, that's different. I, I like a watermelon. What do you like? Ice? Watermelon. You? Watermelon. I'm into pistachio like or coconut. Yeah, I like watermelon. What, I like pistachio with the nuts. I do. All right. no. I mean, I like lemon. <laughs> I would eat the rainbow. Chocolate's fine with me. Any one of them, really. But if I had a choice, and they yeah, had a ball, watermelon, would like, I would take I like, watermelon. Yeah, they, they, they have um, rainbow, and, and there's lemon in the rainbow. <laughs> You're ordering lemon. <laughs> Fuck the rainbow. <laughs> You don't like I, well, I'll take a lemon first. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it was. You so. were never allowed to order anything. No, else. we don't do. See, that's Let's go home. So you couldn't deviate? No. Wow. Could, yeah, what well, no, now let me ask you something. So with no variety? There, when you walked in there one night, if they didn't, ha if by chance they were sold out with lemon. No, that's back in the car, kids. Oh, he wouldn't buy anything? <laughs> no. I would have. I, I guess, but we never had that happen. I don't know. <laughs> back in the car. Back in the car. Fuck these fucking guys, guys suck. <laughs> Never again. I'm coming back here tomorrow. What do you mean you I'm have no piss lemon? On this freaking door. <laughs> how, how many times do you think you go there a year? Oh, maybe 20, 25. <laughs> and now, how far is the new one? Down the block from my house. Did you go there yet? Or? No, but I am this week. Okay. Mm. Okay. I want to check out what flavors they have. Okay. I bet you one of you them. You know is where, where it is? It's diagonal across from uh, North Shore Farms. You know my neutral phone. Is yeah. It? It's diagonally across. So it's like at an angle? Yeah. Diagonal. It's diagonal. Right, so I'm going I'm gonna go there. I'll try it out. But it's a pizzeria. Is it a pizzeria? No, it's an ice cream parlor. Ice cream! Ice uh, cream. That's a different cream. story. What's the name of the place? See, that's cream. a different story. I don't know. Something Scoops. Something oh, like Scoops. It's by me. Oh, Scoops and Cones. It's in by Farmingdale. You? There's one in Farmingdale. Is that such a franchise? I don't know. Yeah. No, it's not. I don't think it's a franchise. Because the ones in Farmingdale, it's funny because Mike ordered the other day and I go, oh, look, oh, Mike, they have yeah. readers or something like that. They didn't have the ice. I don't think. Readers. Readers is a pretty decent ice. But they're out. Most of we them used to have a place in Valley Stream that sold ice and ice cream. It was called Valley Scoops. Oh, cool. Clever. 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 Wow. I wonder did it take to come up with that one. Uh, longer than it took for them to go out of business. <laughs> 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 Taz, the resident artist, Greg D. Flippo, Mike Bott. Everybody's hanging out with Mike us Mike Bott. Mike Richie, Bott. Good Mikey game. Bott. Richie, good game today. Love Tough Mike loss. Bott. That's from D. Flippo. Taz, sorry I've been missing the show. Uh, I'm making a, a great, MF yeah, move. Game. What's an MF move? Motherfucker move. A motherfucker yeah. move. All right. Taz. Mickey Delaney shared the show. Hi, Great Mickey. Game. How are you? Uh, who else is hanging out that. with us? You know, Chris Smith's hanging out with us. Right? Charlie game. Myers. Yeah, good, good game. Good game. We lost. Oh, I Vinny Barone. When we have, you go do your thing. We have. Uh, I, cr I, I <laughs> it was, laughed. It was. It was. It was a good game. Good game. Good game. Yeah, but good when the kids you know. all get together after a game and they, we won twelve to two, right. and we're all clipping hands off at the end, going, "Good game. Good game. Good game. Like, fuck you. It was a good game. It was a suck. good game. You guys we, right. we, we blew your doors your off. It wasn't a very good game. Go home." Christy Miller said she's listening and taking notes tonight, so she's going to come taking in. Taking notes. Hey, no girl. Oh. She's What's gonna, up? Notes. You know her? Yes. I, I like notes. Her. She's, she uh, opened for Dice. She's great. She's a, hey. she's a, a, a bodybuilder, huh? Yeah. 
She's a bodybuilder comedian, and she yeah. opened for Dice. Yeah. Dice is the only comedian who wasn't nice to me when I was on Opie and Anthony. Shocking. Really? Well, he just never talked to anybody. He was very quiet. He couldn't talk to Dice. Especially you. When he was on the, what do you mean, especially me? What are you talking, trying to say? I'm trying to say he wasn't talking to you. No. That's what you just said. No, I said oh, when Opie and Anthony were on. <coughs> oh, Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch the dog a bone. She bent over and Rover took over and gave her a bone of his own. <laughs> I needed that. There you go. <laughs> It's a little dice for you. <laughs> little, <laughs> little boy blow. He needed the money. How about Jack and Jill? <laughs> Remember Jack and Jill? Oh, Jack yeah. and Jill, Jill went, went up, up the hill, each with a buck and a quarter. Jill came back with two fifty. Oh, oh. that hell! <laughs> hey, there you go. Even Bobby's getting a little yeah. smirk out of Bobby. Oh, those are, Dude, I walk in tonight. Those were classic. Bobby, Bobby Lasseri. Dice. I like Bobby, but I, I think Bobby's going through a slight. Mental, you know, a little anguish going on. Really, brain. a lot of people the, say that about you. Yeah, anguish. the economy's not great. Bobby's Bobby's hustling well, around, sure. this and that. I walk in, I got my bags, I got Vinny Barone's shirts that he's giving to everybody. He's got bags. And I hear Bobby go, why is anybody touching this goddamn table? I got fingerprints all over this table. You're not supposed to be touching it. And there goes DNA. Danny and Althea walks out like this. Okay, I'm sorry. She's walking out. She's got a head in between. Her, uh, she was so scared. It was a, it was Bob, a little tense. Bobby, her you scared her tonight. You did. I, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he made it look nice. Althea walked out of here he like, oh, nice. my God. Well, they just sat down and started messing with it. Those are the people that sped off when I pulled you in. Don't yes. touch a set. They usually sitting outside. They they were gone. They were, they flew out of here, like they were on. He the, yelled at like up. somebody was in hot pursuit. It was a little hostile when we came in. Right, yes. Rich. It was. I was, was like, tense. oh boy, there was tension. <laughs> we are in hot pursuit. I mean, pursuit. it was fine, but it was you know it was a little tense. All right, it was okay. Uh, so Vinny Barone, Vinny Barone, Vinny Barone in, in Texas, and Vinny Barone. In Texas and Florida, he owns a residence in Florida. Oh, the he runs right? he runs a, a waste management or frontier yes. management in mm -hmm. Florida. Yeah, he has a big investment firm in New York City. Speaking of waste management, have you lost a couple of pounds? I have a little <laughs> bit. Yes, <laughs> everything feels a little so Lusa. Lusa. Okay. Lusa. So he sends Lusa. us shirts, which oh, my shirts are there for everybody. It says Anthony Graz podcast. So I'm trying to open it. I'm trying you messing around. I'm here. trying to Come open on, it. work that up a body. There you go. Oh, so wait, so he sent this package. He oh, sent well, this is opening. Well, Graz is opening podcast. up the package. I'm going to announce that my uh, daughter-in-law and son had a baby girl. <gasps> oh, Seven oh. pounds, three ounces. Her oh, name is Madison great. Lena. When was Congratulations this? Congratulations. Halloween. Trick or treat, baby. Like my daughter. That's the first thing we thought of. Yes, I know. Yeah, I did. I was like, oh, oh, it's like uh, Teresa's daughter. Halloween baby. And they were like, oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. Halloween baby. All right, so oh, Frontier Waste Solutions, Vincent wow. J. Barone, who's the director of sales and marketing. Now, mind you, he retired in Florida, oh, nice. and they pulled him out again to run all of Dallas. That's how impressive he was. Wow. So he's got, he's, he this should be. This guy is not small potatoes. He's not. He's not. He's the director of sales and marketing. We got shirts from him. In, 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 um, this is a nice looking shirt. Yeah, I think yeah. this oh, is Texas. Taking shirts. care of business. Taking right. care of business. Nice. So it says enjoy Every from day. Vinny from Frontier Waste Solutions. I think I get the medium. Thank you, Vinny. We're going to have to, I promised him that we'd wear it all once. Okay. I'm going to announce it today and I'll yeah. tell you over the next couple of weeks right. when we're wearing it. Okay. So. Like Speaking of Florida, I don't I like think Carol is, there from an XL? is listening for Florida. Why? <laughs> I'm an XL. Who's a large? That would be you. No. I'm medium. You're a medium. So I said medium. Isn't Let's see what we got. We got a lodge. We have a... Unless he sent all lodge. Comedian Christy Miller calling call in about 15 minutes. All right. Two double XL. I guess that's me. Right? That yeah. would be That would be you. I'm, I'm putting my money on that. <laughs> Why? You could be a two XL. No? You're a tall man. You have a little bit of a... Um, You're a tall man. You have a little bit of a Lebans. A little bit. No? A Lebans. No. A little... Belly, you have a little belly. Why are you looking at me like that? What are you, an extra large or, or? I wear an extra large. Okay. The only reason why I wear a double XL is because my wife always tells me when I put my arms up, you're not supposed to show your belly from the shirt. <laughs> because you got the dicky dude disease. What's you know what the, the dicky no. the dicky dude disease is when you're. What's the dicky dude? You hold your arms it's up. It's when your dicky sticks out further than. <laughs> what? What? It's when your dicky. 
It's when your belly stick out further than your dicky do. Oh, so you can't see your dicky do from your belly. That's fine. Well, <laughs> yeah, your belly sticks out further than your dicky do. says that all the time. All right. Extra large. Here, this is yours. Hello? Yeah, thank you. Oh, you are. You just. All right. Thank you. Vinny Barone. Vinny. Vinny. Vincenzo. Vinci- Vincenzo J. Barone. Who's a three I said? Oh, that was weird. Fat J? <laughs> <laughs> There you go, the three. I'm not that big. Are you a large? If he didn't oh, send the medium, large. I'm a large. Uh, I'll take the large over a three X. No, I, I guess. Oh, because yeah, I'm supposed to wear it as a pajama. Yeah, that's correct. So you take the X. Uh, I'll take the double. I'll take the triple XL, and you'll take the double. XL. I'll take the Who's double. Taking the double XL? Not you. Don't worry. Him. Taking care of the. I don't care if it's me or him. No, because I wear yeah. it at night, just hanging out. I'll absolutely. Wear but it. don't get it dirty with like acid and everything else. I want to wear it once. You mean bleach? Acid, acid. Well, if I ble- no. He bleached. A, I, I gave him a brand new limo talk shirt. It was bleached in two days. He calls me. He goes, "Oh, I used it around the house with bleach." Yeah. It's t- it's no, t- I'm shocked my kid. That looks nice. Get a sharpie and just go over that. How that? That's cheap. That's a cheap. Qual- not a quality. We're shirt. on. We're at just on pause today, <laughs> Vincent Perone. So thank you, Vinny. Thank you, Vinny. All right. Tia Waste you know, he, Solutions. I, he's a very big Trump supporter, just so you know. Like this guy, Barone. Yes. Like him from, <laughs> like the shirts. Going to wear the shirts. Yeah. Are you? President Trump. At my next indictment, I'm wearing this shirt. <laughs> I'm going to wear it for my next court date. And you're going to People be like, <laughs> motto. Donald, why are you wearing a, a waste hey, management you know, shirt? Vinny? Because this whole time in this courtroom is a waste. Did you see and I'm him? managing. Did you see? Did you see, Mr. Trump, how you went off on the DA during the trial, calling that you that, that you should be you should be campaigning and not sitting in a New York courtroom? I, I I actually didn't see that. You didn't see that? No. Yeah, he went. I off. just cracked up when he was like he was talking about tanks. He says they're coming out with tanks, electric tanks. He goes, we're gonna go into enemy territories and obliterate them, blow the shit out of the whole town. But at least we're gonna do it in environmentally friendly tanks. I don't think you'd be having any of this right now. If, if no. This would not be happening right now. No. This, this None is, of it. This is unbelievable. You guys called this two years ago. Yeah. Before we called this. You said we were going to go to war. You said he was going to cause a war. You said there was going to be disruption. Because be weak. I got, I got, and, would, and everybody would take advantage of I it. I got retired cops coming to me now mm-hmm. telling me to buy a gun because the revolution's coming. Well, you know what? It's funny that you know all these liberals who are opposed to gun ownership and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of them are from the um, Jewish community, I do believe, and uh, all of a sudden, Israel is telling their citizens to arm themselves uh, because this way nobody can break into their house and take over the whole house and kill their whole family if they might have a possible weapon on hand, mm-hmm. which makes perfectly good sense. This, this is the true. argument for gun people have been having for years. You know, there are psychos out there. If you if they think that they might break into your house and find out that you have a gun that's a little bit bigger or a little bit even even equivalent to what they got, they might not come in. I don't think there should be AK-40s. I don't think there should be the guns that these I guys... I think you should be able to have a fucking tank in your living room. <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is you're very loose with the Second Amendment. <laughs> Man, holy crap, you gotta have some form Where's of... Where's Daddy? Watch your Seinfeld in the tank! <laughs> He's got a, a teeth. He's, he's polishing the Sherman. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Do you think it's the right thing that every American should? should yes, do? absolutely. Everybody should be carrying. When he said that to me, and I'm not going to mention <coughs> who it was, he goes, you watch, the revolution's coming. Now, I've been hearing people telling me, and Bobby has said it, tea time, how many times that he thinks that something's going to happen right around the election next year. Oh, like the gas prices going like, ar- going down now for yeah. this election. Okay. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And uh, they will go back up. No but living, no, no sitting president has ever won their election on a re-election with gas prices going up. It's never happened. Well, that's Get, why they're going down. I, I understand that, but if they're going down now, that means they're probably going to go up in the summertime. Oh, they'll go back up in January. And uh, yeah, January. January, January and February. then they're going to go down uh, now. Are right around, go? right around the election in 2024. Oh my God, there's going to be a revelation. There's going to be low gas prices. It's going to be it, amazing. Yeah, but everybody's saying that they can't stand how he's operating right now. Oh, he's a freaking moron. Please. Well, that, that's true. Guy's an idiot. He's not operating. That's the problem. 
It's a shame. It's sad. It really yeah. is sad that this is what our country has become. Ann Rotti says, congratulations to you and your family. In this, on, oh, thank on, you, On the birth of your godchild. Kathy, My Kathy's wa- Kathy uh, Davies is watching. Taz, the resident artist. How many is now, that now? Uh, That's two, and there'll be a third soon. Third's wow. going to be in, in January, right? No. The third will be? Good guess. I'm uh, in I'm the next guessing. couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it scheduled? Scheduled C-section Scheduled. It was ske- no, there it's not go. scheduled yet. Just scheduled to go but in. She was due in... Uh, the beginning of December, end of uh, end of November, and now she probably it'll probably be the end of November. Okay. All right, and then there'll be three. How ecstatic are you, huh? Yeah. Very nice. It's ecstatic. It's sweet. It's, it's sweet. <sighs> Mike Bot says, "Hey, Graz, where were you this morning?" Like. Flag. <laughs> I was working. What? Sort of like an addendum. You an said? addendum. It's, yeah. an addendum. it's like an addendum. Oh. What, what was the word I said today, uh, Zarelli? Preface. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, no, he said uh, he actually used this word correctly in a sentence. No. He did? It is a first. Behest. At the behest. Well, yes. Chris like at, at the re- behest of me. He when said. I was playing the video of you, how I felt. The audio. Bought up, the audio bought up was supposed to be putting I, something I, in the background. I did it before. He, he did it before, but I didn't hear it. No, like it's, the music from The Godfather no, or something? No, it's, it's Vince McMahon yelling in the background, Oh. You're fired. <laughs> and, it just Not con- Trump? and it just continuously goes on. That's funny. <laughs> it's a little, he, it's a little bit. I will never be a grandmother. He used his ninth grade vocabulary today. Yes. You know that? So. Why? Because my daughter doesn't want kids, but I want to, like, I want to have grandchildren. Did you do tell you me you didn't want any either? Do you, do you spoil your grandchildren? Do you spoil them? Not at all. No. I my, have one. He's only two years my old. My mother didn't spoil my grand. My yeah, what are you going to get him? Oh, I'm, I'm showering this child with gifts. So, I, well, soon I will. You will, though. You will. I know you will. You let the parents do it. I mean. You're going to give him his first lemon ice. My daughter, Chris. Yes. <laughs> My daughter Christine and her husband. Um, and Jet, tell them you're only ordering they lemon. They spoil them plenty. <laughs> this kid's got the best sneakers, the best shoes. Really? I've never seen anything like it. He's wow. got expensive Jordans on all the time. He'll never wear them out. Limo talk onesie. What? Limo talk onesie. They are they have the t-shirt. Yes. The new baby needs a, a limo a, talk. Oh, there we go. The limo li- talk. In the pink. limo talk in pink, right? In pink. Pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. And then we'll have to get another one for you. It's a boy coming. It's right? going to be a boy. Oh, so, nice. You, are we bothering you? Are you uh, no, I'm in the middle of something. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Graz, did you go to Flag today? I did not go to Flag today. I worked. Mike Bott was asking. Yeah, Mike uh, Bott, he, he, he ran up to score. My son's throwing four touchdowns. That's fine. My, we'll see you in the playoff spot. He ran up my to son, score. My son's going to. You yeah. mean like you did last week, 52 nothing? No, 56 nothing. 56 nothing. Yeah. In Flag football, when you ran up to score and got. And, uh, no, rumors of they an never made one tackle the whole game. How am I supposed to get in the well, ball? What do you mean one tackle? It's flag football. One flag. One pull of the flag. Nobody pulled one flag. Maybe the whole one game. the whole goddamn game. Well, well, who's playing this game? My son last week played a team. He was coaching. The I was game. coaching the game, and he makes a smart ass remark the next night. Oh, I heard about you. Did he make an addendum for you too? No. He goes, I heard well, about you. I go, what addendum. did you hear about? He goes, did they run up the score at the behest of the head coach? No. I- he goes, I heard you ran up the score. Nothing. <laughs> at the behest. It was 33 nothing. It was right. 33 nothing at halftime. So I gave the other kids the ball. Like other other guys that don't score as much and they oh, score. Oh, that's even worse to insult them and say, hey. I wasn't All insulting right, them. Go, run. Go, we're not gonna even touch you. Go. One of the parents was so one of the parents was so happy that she came up to me and she says, Oh, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for do giving it again. Me, giving, yeah. Do it she like goes, eight more times. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> right. Can we just do that one more time? Do it eight more times. See, it's only I'm forty-seven. We'll all get a trophy. We who need fifty-six. Something? I want to know who said something to you. I don't know who's. I'm not. I'm so not why would you say you. something and round me because up? Because I'm just letting you know. You should know these things. Well, so we played bot and we lost today. But I'm telling you something right now. I what was the score. They won by two touchdowns. Oh, Michael, all right, so Michael, that's a normal Michael said, Michael flag said, score. Michael said, Dad, you, you, you would have uh, done a couple of different things. I'm like, okay, so we'll be fine. I'll see him in the playoff spot. I know how good your son is now. All right, we'll play, <laughs> we'll play man-to-man. I'll make wow. sure one of my kids elbows your kid right in the head. Here we go. How old are these uh, children? 11-year-olds. 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 11 11 right. 11. He's fucking insane. 11 years <laughs> old. <laughs> <laughs> no, flag football, that. 11 years old, folks. Michael, yes. Michael. Go. As soon as Bot comes out and turns, hit him right in the head. And like he's uh, little eight year olds uh, drilled the fuck. Uh, you know, <laughs> hit the kid in his him. knee. <laughs> plunk him. Look at this. Uh, what? Oh, What's the score? Nothing. 
It's uh, you oh, watch the rerun of the. Uh, no, and it's halftime, and they're showing him step out of bounds. They showed all the mistakes. All the Dallas Here's mistakes. Where he stepped yeah. out of bounds. They showed the knee down at the, at the right before the goal line, <laughs> on the touchdown. It was you a know bit what? Of we actually had a chance too. They Philly fumbled the ball. And they were handing us the game. They really wanted you to have it. They did. Yeah. They were not playing to win. Philly. You know, you're not winning in Philadelphia. They were playing not to lose. You're not winning in Philadelphia. No, really. You're not winning in Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia's yeah, they, making they, the playoffs. They could have won today, okay. easily. You're making the playoffs. Went too. out a couple of mistakes. The Giants are As out. Usual. The Commanders are out. The Commanders are Giants done. Giants are out. That's Giants like, like that's seven. a statement. Giants are Don't out. Be a out did Did Daniel Jones blow out his ACL today? Yeah, but Jones got hurt. He started the game. Oh, I didn't realize. He, I watched that second. His half. knee buckled. Bot says my uh, his son will uh, my son will never catch his son. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, my Here son's gonna throw now. fifty yards in the air. Bot versus Graz. All right. Oh, we're getting scammed, uh, spammed by uh, Shaluka uh, G. And, uh, and is that Palestine? What is that? What kind of? What kind no. of? But now we're broadcasting in Palestine. It looks on the good side. I don't know. Di Filippo usually sends us in somewhere. You know what's fucked up? What? What's going on at these? I cannot believe what's going on in these um, these universities across this country over here with these people uh, protesting against uh, Israel and siding with Palestine, who fucking butchered a bunch of people in their homes. This is fucked up. We're in a fucked up world. We really are. It's fucked up. Israel, what? They were sitting there. They were just in their houses. And, the, and these people came in, came in, butchered their families, killed 1,400 people, and people are protesting in school saying Palestine is right. Back by, back by Iran, by the way. Oh, we're in India tonight. Uh, we're in India. That really is crazy. No, I'm just like, you know well, what I was talking about. Uh, what, were you gonna, what were you want me to okay, say? Okay, we're in the other night. They're doing this <laughs> India show. Hello from India. <laughs> what are we doing in India? Uh, we're broadcasting what in India like tonight for like Greg DiFilippo. Wow. Would you like a bag with that? <laughs> well, you know, I, no, 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 I guess, uh, that's two fifty and four dollar. <laughs> Christy Miller can't come soon enough. <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> you re- listen. You gotta stuff is going on in this world right now. It's, it's right, tell me how I have to handle it. Just gotta be a little. I don't know what passive. I didn't say passive. Oh no, <laughs> not a time. To hey, by passive. the way, the Beatles came out with a new song this week. Yes, they did. Now and then. How so is I, it? You would think it's. What do you think about semi, it? It's like men's are men's. Is a men's are yeah, men's. Yeah. I can you take a, it or leave it. It's all right. Yeah. Which what the be, the new Beatles song? Yeah. Oh, uh, what's his face was talking about? Well, how like is it a new greatest? Beatles song? Isn't it written by? Well, John? what it was, John was d- did a bunch of demo songs Three back songs. in the um, yeah, "Free as a Bird," "Real Love," which they did, they did them, and those songs to me sounded terrible. Real love, it's real love. It's like you know, it's like the muffled voice. But now they have the technology where you can separate the voice from all the background noise and even enhance it, and make it better. So they took this song, which was the third song, which was called Now and Then, at the same time, which they did. George actually recorded, at the time they were doing the anthology, recorded the slide guitar part of it. And then they never, ever really continued with it because the sound of the voice had background noise. It was like you could hear um, everything going on. There was uh, the TV was on in the background and people were talking and they didn't know how to separate John's voice. To to make a so- make an actual song out of it, but now with the new artificial intelligence, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, AI. AI. Well, Yoko gave him the tape, right? Yeah. Yoko had the tape, and yeah. and then she died because he, he, he died. That she held on to it or something like that. No, she had it. She gave it to them, and they did the they did the other two songs, and they just did this one. And Paul and Ringo did the drums and the and the bass guitar, and they made the song. It's all right. I mean, it's not Beatle quality. No. No. I mean, you think about this band now. They got their manager is dead. Their producer is dead. John Lennon's dead. George Harrison's dead. You got Ringo and Paul. Paul's still out touring. Ringo's still out touring. But they put this song together from a band that's got its two-thirds dead. (coughs) Mm. (laughs) I mean, and they're making new records, new songs, whatever. song's 40 years old, 43 years old. But die hard. Beatles of course, they got to they got to yeah. run for it. So has it, has it has it gone up to number one? It already? is number one. It is number one. Yeah, of course. Hey, Rich is five one six nine four five nine zero nine nine is our phone number, right? That is correct. Five one six nine four five nine zero nine nine. 
Yes, call now, Christy. Yeah, she's... Uh, Lines she's are a, open. She, no, she says she's just getting a ring. Be the first caller and she's win She's just a getting a ringing. I might have to put her on my phone. Ringy, dingy, again. dingy. One ringy, dingy. <laughs> uh, Bobby? Moi? Phone lines are open. Phone lines are open. Phone lines are open. Five one six nine four five nine zero nine nine. Call now. Check the number. Be the seventh caller and get the nothing more. Caller. Nothing more than you would yeah, get the if show, you weren't limo the seventh talk, caller. Sure. How about that? Just give us one ring. All right. All right. Check All right. the number. Maybe Try again, Christy. Five one six nine four five nine zero nine nine. Oh, here she is now. Here you are. Hey. Ding dong, ding dong. Hello. Okay. Okay. Right. Coming in now. Caller, go ahead, Rich. Introduce yourself. Hello, Christy. Hey. 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 Are you there? I'm here. Oh. Hey, Christy. It's Graz, Bobby Inns, Hi, Richie, Chris. Richie Z, and I think you know Hello. Teresa Farrell. Hey, girl. Hey, Mama. How are you? Nice. Hey, girl, and hey, Mama. What yeah. So, Christy. I uh, will go right to it. I didn't know that you're a comedian and a bodybuilder. Is that correct? Um, I'm not a bodybuilder. I just like to lift heavy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I pick things up and put them down. Bodybuilders train to look yeah. like an Oompa Loompa in a Speedo and pose very uncomfortably. I train like a power lifter. Okay. I train to be hard to kill. Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I like that a lot. Philosophy. Yeah, yeah. where's the live by? How long have you been training for? Like heavy? Uh, I've been back heavy about thirteen years, and training for about thirty-eight years. Oh my god! Yeah. So you could basically kick the shit out of me. That's it's a commitment. Oh, easily. <laughs> what do you Very mean? Very easily. Oh, really? Now, bring it on, young 30, lady. Thirty-eight years. Yeah. 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 How, how long have you been doing comedy? How long have you been doing comedy, Christy? Twenty-eight years next month. Okay. Here we go. I'll give you some questions at the ten at ten, and we'll go from there. Oh, who's one? Who's your favorite Let's comedian? Who's your favorite comedian? Uh, besides me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, God, I don't. That's really hard. Uh, probably Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Okay. Didn't you open for Dice? Yes, part time. I'm his side chick. Eleanor Kerrigan is his main chick. <laughs> right. All right. So when Eleanor can't do it, you do it, huh? Then I, yeah, I found the side piece. You know, I'm sloppy second. <laughs> Where's the nicest place that you've gone? With Dice, have you uh, um, have you uh, performed it in Vegas or in Atlantic City? No, we did uh, Boston, uh, Jersey, Florida, and just mainly on the, in Philadelphia. Okay. All right. What's your favorite genre of music? Uh, it depends. Okay. Depends on what. <laughs> what does it depend on? Depends on the mood. <laughs> depends on what All she's right. doing. Right. It depends on how heavy her lift is. <laughs> or gay dance music. Or, you know, I go from like Tedeschi to Steve Ray Vaughan to Cher, Lady Gaga to Mary J. Blige to Violent Femmes. You know, like, it's, it's all over the place. It's sad. What do you listen to when you're powerlifting? Uh, I have listened to Sinatra. Mm. I listen to Judas Priest. Uh, it's fun. Uh, D. Snyder's last album is really fun to lift to. Mm -hmm. um, or Cher. There you Cher. go. Cher. Well, sure. Cher, huh? Do Cher you show. believe she, in no, weights? Today was, today was a big day. Oh, by the way. What? What happened? Clocks. Turn the clocks. Yes, yeah. we turned the clocks back. That's well, so Cher, back. Cher, Cher so, turned back time was early. a big was a big yep. hit song to play today. <laughs> yes, it was. All right. You know what bothers me? Just want to bring up something over here. People are posting on Facebook. They're going, all right, so today we go to Daylight Savings Time. I'm like, no, moron. We don't go to Daylight Savings Time. We've been on Daylight Savings Time all through this summer. Now we're going back to regular time, Eastern Standard Time. I don't like the sun coming up at 6.30 in the morning. 
Yeah, nobody likes it. And this. I don't like to I don't like it getting dark. But my, this is, my wife what we're has on a hard right time now about this. is regular time. Yeah. That's the way they want it cuz they No. Want it. This is regular time. The daylight savings time yeah. we were just on was created in the like 1966, 1967. They ca- they went to it to give people an extra hour at the end of the day in the summer so they could go out and do things. That's why they did it. That's yeah. daylight savings. Well, time. it's also to save energy, isn't it? And now we're it back was an to energy normal, saving. The lights don't come on as early. It's darker early, so I don't have to see all the fucking nut jobs on the trains at night. That's another thing. Well, but, but the point is, though, this time we're on right now, that getting dark at 5 o'clock, that's real time. That's the time. Yes. Right. Yeah. Daylight Without savings daylight time just savings. ended again, and that's the time where we got the extra hour at night. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, yes. Uh, I'm just saying. I wanted to clear that up for all the listeners at home. Christy, do you have any hobbies? Uh, lifting weights, telling jokes. And uh, that's it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I like to lift weight. I live in the gym when I'm not on stage. Do you cook at all? Yeah. So that's a hobby. No, that's just a necessity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite? She cooks I only because eat because I have to. to. I eat because I have to. I don't give a fuck about food. Yeah, but you. I I've eat see- to train. You mean you don't eat? You don't enjoy food? Like I'm Italian. Bobby's Italian. In fact, we're all Italian, Love except for the Irish. Polish guy. Except for the Polish I'm guy. I'm Irish, corner. honey. We have no flavor. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is true. Oh, you're. Well, an, what's you your favorite food? Shit out of everything, and it has no flavor. There's Boiled no potatoes. There's nothing. What's your favorite <laughs> food? Nothing to enjoy. What's your favorite food? Oh God. Hmm. God, that's a hard one. Boiled. Like something that My you like. Lately, that I've been making a lot of is like an arugula salad with like grilled chicken. And stuff like that. Oh my gosh. It's very boring. So I won't I see you I over at Burger a- City anytime soon. <laughs> no. No. Huh? You don't go to Smash Burger? <laughs> yeah, you don't like a hamburger? You, like, you don't like some meat every once in a while? Like a hamburger or a piece of steak or something? Once in a blue moon. I prefer chicken or fish. Oh, you women are weird. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm the same way. You women are weird. What's your favorite sport? No, What's I'm- your favorite sport? Uh, baseball. There you go. There we go. Who's your favorite team? Winner. The Oakland A's and the New York Yankees. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's wait, two completely wait, different wait. franchises. Yes, I'm very int- why, why, why the Oakland? Yeah. Yeah, why the Oakland? Yeah. Yeah, I grew Oakland? up in the Bay Area. Okay. So I love Oakland. I'm still a huge Raiders fan, and we finally won today after 400 years. Yeah, Thank you, <laughs> Antonio Pierce. Thank God <laughs> that burn victim Mark Davis got somebody real on the fucking field to coach these idiots. Thank you, Lord. Oh Did you see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the burn, burn victim. victim. That's great. Did you see he's dating a 26-year-old girl that's of course in, um, he is. in uh, La- La- something or whatever in Vegas? Yeah, she's probably AI. All right? <laughs> Nobody's fucking that guy. Nobody. <laughs> I'm broke. And I wouldn't fuck this guy. And I'm a Raiders fan. And I, I, I fuck it. He wow. looks like a burn victim with Down syndrome. <laughs> it is disgusting. That man put a bowl. He's a bazillionaire. He owns the Raiders. He put a bowl on his head and just trimmed the edges like a fucking five-year-old. Can't argue with any of What this. is wrong with him? Yeah. She knows him well. Comedian hey. Christy Miller going <laughs> off on a Raider We're owner. struck a nerve with the... Uh, <laughs> With the sports fandom. All so right. then why the Yankees? How did the Yankees, uh, where did the Yankees fit into this? Where do they fit into it? Any, well, anywhere they'll let me into that locker room. Is that why you like the Yankees? Yeah, I like winners and I like hot ass, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. That explains that. <laughs> Bob's got nothing. So, oh boy, wait, so the Yankees are the best looking <laughs> Right, the Yankees have the mean. best asses in baseball? Is that? Oh, they got great asses in baseball. Who's got the best ass in baseball? Here you go. There's a question. There you go. Ooh, wow. Okay. Uh, if you sat God. there, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me she's, preface this. She's paying Carlos attention. Stanton. Who? Joe Carlos Stanton's got a pretty hot ass. Ugh. Uh, it's big. Needle marks all over it, allegedly. No, uh, he's still he's he's got more money than me, and I'd still fuck him. I don't give a shit. <laughs> that dude took balls to the face on the Marlins. He's a fucking man. I don't see anybody else taking a fucking fast one. Well, I could take balls to the face. That was a Matt pitcher did that. Start. It was. 
Huh? The Mets pitch. One of the Mets pitchers did that. I forgot which one. I forget. I just remember. He, well, I watched it, and all I heard was the crack of his face. And I'm like, oops. That's going to leave yeah, a mark. That wasn't good. All right. So this is the part of the show that gets a little risque. So... Really? Uh, yeah. Really? Well, you know, I know. I know you. I know. I've I've watched a couple of your stuff, so I think I could ask all the questions. But let me start with. Yeah. Let me start with top or bottom. Who me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a Milwaukee pigeon. Well, I live in Hell's Kitchen, oh, you so I'm there. first. Oh, my your fears. First, so your top. <laughs> I'm a top when I'm sitting on it, and bottom when I'm flat on my back with a matching strap to it. <laughs> Graz, you're turning red. I don't know what to say. I, she's you got left me. him speechless. So there's so Christy. <laughs> I have that so there's a kind of little small addendum to this. Oh, uh, Lord, there's there about is. four or five questions. Oh. Are you in or you're out? What? Up? Whip it out. Let's just do it. Let's bring it. Show Three, me what you got. Threesomes, <laughs> yay or nay? No. Quickies, yay or nay? Yeah, yes? Yeah. Ever, yes. ever fake an orgasm? Woman, what do you think? <laughs> I think that's a yes. Socks on or socks off? Yeah. Socks on or socks off? Off. Lights on or lights off? Depends uh, if it's the Raiders owner. It depends. It depends. It's a quickie. I don't have time to turn the lights off. I don't have time. <laughs> Leather or lace? On me or him? <laughs> Both. <laughs> All right, last question. I'll, I'll let you go on that one. Do you enjoy men, women, or both? <laughs> What's that? Men, women, or both? Men. Okay. What's your goal in 2023? The rest of it for the to last not, three months. The rest of it to not kill myself. Month Next. And a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Your favorite podcast <laughs> besides, besides Limo Talk, which is ours, and I think you have a, a podcast too, right? Yes, I do. It's called Old School New School Comedy. Okay, and you, you where do you film that out of? Uh, I use the comic strip in the city. Oh, nice. Who yeah. Else is, who else was broadcasting? I, I, think, I just had Wally Collins on last week. He's my last guest. John Poveromo was supposed to be on, but he was sick in the marathon, so I, I'm taking the week off. I'll be back on Monday at noon next week. What's the new place over on 58th Street or something like that? The Pear? Have you been there? The Grizzly Pear? Grizzly Pear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. It's on it, 54th. Is it good? Uh, my buddies, uh, it used to be. Oh, I thought it was new. Yep. And, <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Enough said. All right. All right. So uh, that's a topic off camera. So who's your I'll favorite you podcast besides Limo Talk and your and your your podcast? Who do you like? Oh God, I am so I am the worst human being on the planet. I don't listen to podcasts. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't make you bad because I don't listen to them either. <laughs> I don't even listen to this one. <laughs> true i've never gone back and listened you bullshit you've listened rare, to a couple when somebody rare. points out that i did something wrong you're the first one to jump on it <laughs> <laughs> you are the first one to jump on it when somebody tells you oh grass said this or grass did that you know it's true <laughs> well, what does that mean that i listen to because you and i you always go back and go oh yeah you did you did did you no i know that it happened live and i, re I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you're at a table, your last dinner, and you could pick two people, dead, and al dead or alive, to have dinner with. Who are they? Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Cher, if she's still alive. Well, she might be dead by then. So. <laughs> Why? Well, I want to bang the shit out of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> I want him to ride me like a pony I never got for Christmas. And if it's my last fucking supper, I want him to blow every hole out of my body. <laughs> and I want, and I just love Cher. <laughs> That's it. So you want, wow. so you want Dwayne Robinson just to go nuts on you, okay. and you just like Cher. 
Yeah. Okay. Actually, Chrissy, Chrissy <laughs> okay, dresses okay. like she looks like Cher. Yeah, you do look like Cher. I've seen it, your pictures. Your hair goes yeah. in front of your face a little bit. Is that on purpose yeah. because you like Cher, or is that to hide anything? No, or no, that's just I just look like her, and I'm up for the Broadway tour as the lead as the, as Cher. You are. So, I'm very, so yeah. When are they going live? When is that happening? Uh, they're supposed to make decisions. They already cast the first two shares, the really young, like Sonny and Cher Cher. Yeah. And then they did the, like the Cher variety to I found someone Cher, turn back time Cher. And I'm supposed to be playing the old Cher and, uh, going back and reminiscing on her life. So That's awesome. it's up to me and somebody else. So I'm just waiting to hear back. You're going to oh. get it. Now, what would that yeah. be? Two, two performances a day, five days a week? Uh, eight shows a week. Yeah, eight shows. Well, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. I hope you know that. Thank you. Oh, I know. I love you guys. Thank you so much. So do me a favor. That wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. I told you I'd go easy on you. What promote what you got? Promote <laughs> you can, what you got coming. You can, up. Li- you can light me up like a Christmas tree. I love. You can roast the shit out of me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm laying low. I'm laying low. So tell me what you got coming up. <laughs> tell tell me your podcasts. And promote everything you got uh, coming up. Okay. Uh, old school, new school comedy podcast. It goes live Mondays at noon on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, Acast. And uh, I have an album out, Brutally Yours, that you could download on iTunes and Apple Music or Spotify or uh, Amazon Music or Tribal, or wherever you could download or stream your music. Um, that came out in March. And... Uh, yeah, and then I do, I'm headlining a club, uh, the Comedy Diner, Friday night, the 10th, at 8 o'clock in Newark, New Jersey. And, when are you coming uh, to the island? There's other shows coming up. When are you coming to the island? I can't remember. Whenever somebody invites me. Really? You don't get invited out here yeah. by anybody? No. No, I even because the same Ange comics do the same. Like, you should do it. You, I need you to come out and do a night. I'm like, all right. And then Ange never responds to anybody, so, you know. Stay in touch right. with me. We're gonna we're doing something in February. Maybe you come out and hang out with us one night. Love to. That'd be so much fun. All right. All right. All right. Cool. I'm in. All right. Cool. Hey, one. Thank you for being so quick to answer me back last week. I hope your show was a was a hit last Sunday night, and I'm glad that you came oh, on. Oh yeah, it was it was great. It oh. was really fun. All right. For Richie Zarelli, oh. for for Bobby and Zarello, for me, Anthony Grasley, and for me, uh, for Tea Time with Teresa. We wish you nothing but the best, Christy, okay? Thank you, and I love how you guys sit in the front and leave the bitch in the back. Brilliant. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> She's, I got mad at her. If you listen to the beginning, if you listen to the beginning of the show, I'm mad at her. He pissed me, she pissed me off. He's punishing me. You guys are in the front and you're driving Miss Crazy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you <got nothing> to say. <laughs> this is like driving in my old fa- the old family car with three people in the front with the big right? seat and one kid in the back. You got to reach back and smack her around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! All right, Christy, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Uh, Love you guys. Thank take you. Take care, Chris. Comedian Christy Miller. Catch her on Facebook. Catch her, uh, hope she becomes the, sh- the, the oldest share. That would be pretty cool. Oh, God, I hope she gets now it. What? Uh, do they She's make, great. They make good money doing that stuff, She's right? great. Friggin' yeah, hello. It's Broadway. Imagine that. Somebody we had on that's going to have a, gonna be awesome. a lead in Broadway. Amazing. It's our ticket. <laughs> it's our ticket to stardom. Yeah. That, uh, we'll just stand right on those coattails and ride it all the way to Broadway. If you stand online, you know, you stand out front and tell you, you know, Christy Miller was on our show. He was on our show. We had <laughs> yeah. her on. She yeah. answered our 10 questions at 10. 10 minutes to walk there. 10 minutes to And Graz turn red. <laughs> she made me turn red. You blushed. I, yeah, I like you her. Did. She's, she's cool. She's great. She, I didn't really know her too much, and I don't see her doing too much work out here. And I don't. Unfortunately, the truth of the matter is, it's is the that same shit. The same comedians it's the same shit. are at the same three clubs. Yeah. I'm not saying. Ready. It's okay. five years no, now. So don't get one. pissed no, at the messenger. Doesn't. Wait a minute. Wait. We've been out of there two years. Mm. We were there for five years. Only two years? Yeah, it's two years. And in, in, in March is going to be two years that we're here at Strong Island TV. And we were out. Wait, I'm wrong. We I'm were here, in Nicolia's. No, How long were we in Nicolia's? Nicolia's. About a year and a half. Yeah. No, about a year in Nicolia's. We were in the, 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 the Chalice Palace. For, yeah, Chalice yeah, Palace was for a year. year. All right, so the Chalice Palace was for a year. We're almost here two years, and we were at Gov's for five. 
And in eight years. Yeah, but we were. I was in the shed for like a year. But we uh, but we're near yeah, eight we also, years. We did the COVID show. Yeah, That's but right. I'm still saying we started in 2016. It's going to be eight years. So you got us the way you got it. We've been doing the 30 years. But no, we're doing no. it eight years, and we've seen the same comedians. Oh yeah. All the time. Same stuff. There's no. I. I the only one I think that's moving really quickly that I've noticed is Jay Christopher. Yes. Billy Gaia. Because they're men. Carla oh, o- Carla Okerson seems to be doing a is lot. There a of sexist. Carla uh, Okerson seems to yes, be doing a is. lot. Mike Hegan, Tim Saliani, mm-hmm. and then all the old times. I don't hear any girls' names. Mandy Jones, sometimes. Bon- no, no. Bonnie Scalisi. Bonnie's at McGuire's tonight. Okay, so I think, and it's a so, Sunday night. You don't, it's a Sunday night. It's the same regurg. It's the same ones. Where it is, is. Where is the new blood? I know this. Where's the like the Dana McAllisters, the the Teresa Farrell? Just I'm throwing names out. Oh, there. Bobby Farrell. Jones, Teresa Farrell. Teresa Farrell. Listen, behind I us. did the main yeah. stage the at Governors seat. back in the nineties. Was my MC back in the day. Uh, things have changed. Well, I've, changed. I've heard her. I've heard her her, her stuff. She's funny as shit. She's, she's hysterical. Dirty. She she yeah, I heard she's she dirty. made dice. I heard she made dice blush one time. She's mm. dirty. Where did you hear that? I know people. I tell you, how you think she I know people. I know a few people. So dice stood there and goes, "Oh my god, I just blushed." <laughs> it's e- it's easier. If somebody goes, "Oh my god, they made dice blush." No, but she's. Uh, it's clicky on Long Island. It's easier to get stage time in Manhattan. Simple as that. Whether it's Broadway Comedy Club or the comic strip. I just feel like the, Stand whole, up com- New York. the whole comedy thing is so saturated with people. It's just like. What are you this- going to do? Everyone's a comic. Everybody wants to tell a joke. Right, everybody. Just because uh, you can tell a joke doesn't mean you're a comedian. No. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. Well, but I don't understand why, why they don't. Like exactly. Matt Alvalo was funny as shit. All right, right. Wait, wait. Let me just finish. So Mike Nicole- Bobby Inns. Mike Nicole was Bobby really, Inns. Mike Nicole was funny as shit. And. Mike's not even doing it anymore, and Matt's only doing it in Manhattan. He never does it. And he won the comedy and he contest. Won the comedy contest. And what does that tell you? I, I, I don't it means dick. There yeah, you go. Okay. Sit here. I gotta go to the, the bottom. The, to me, I watch a lot of these reels on um, on I like, on my cell phone. All of a sudden, I'm, I pick up these reels. You see a women comedian. All they talk about is sexual shit. It's the same shit over and over again. And it's like, enough. It's like, enough. Tell me a joke. Tell me something funny that happened in real life that happened in your house or in your neighborhood or when you were driving. Not how, you know, who you blew. I don't want to hear it. I don't fucking hear it anymore. Enough. I didn't say you. Did I say you? I'm risque, but I'm a dirty It's just, it's out of hand. Everyone it, has their own. Well, no, no, no they that. don't have their own. It's everyone does the same shit. The same shit. The women comedians, I'm telling you. And that's why you hear somebody like Kristen Tinsley actually get up on stage. Get up on stage and say, I know, you're all sitting there saying, this, I'm a woman comedian, I'm not funny. I mean, she said that. Yeah, because that's the perception. It's not the perce- why is that the perception? It's not the perception. Make that's, me laugh. No, no, no. That's your perception no, of the it, perception. It, it, all, it's like saying, oh, it I, is. I, even though, I, even though I, I haven't said anything that's very funny, you should have laughed. Be, and the only reason you're not no. laughing is because First I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Stop. Comedy, again, comedy is... Is you know what's funny to me may not be funny to you. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So I could do a show at eight o'clock, and this has happened. I could do a show at eight o'clock, and everyone's laughing their asses off. Same exact thing at ten o'clock. Don't get the same reaction. Hey, right? a different crowd. It's a totally. It is. It is. Uh, it is I'm, what it is. I watch a lot of stuff. I, know I do. You do. And I, I. And all the comments are the same. Everybody who comments says, "Oh yeah, another girl talking about." Uh, you know, how she got laid. Another girl talking about blowjobs. I talk Another about g- how I don't get laid. Is yeah, that but okay? I'm just, th- th- it's the topic, though. It's the same fucking topic. Talk about traffic. Talk about the fucking weather. Talk about anything else. But I'm so sick of every time. I just sit there and I go, I wait. I wait for the woman comedian to go, oh, uh, she had, yeah, oral sex. Well, let's get into that now. Go right ahead. And then she goes. And there you go. And you're like, enough. Fucking enough. Just fucking do something else. Get into a different topic. It's just ridiculous. It's, it's played out. It's like, oh, I'm going to shock people. You're not shocking anyone. No, no. You're not. No. Not not, no. Are you going to uh, talk today at all? It's 21-10. At least tell us the score here. 
Well, huh? uh, nobody really cares about the score. We're talking about female comedians. It's just, I'm, I'm fascinated. Yeah, why do you come over here? We're on a subject over here. You come over here and talk about Nobody's talking about the football. Stay in the back we're, of the car. We're, we're, you know. <laughs> right? Yes, yes, Empty Dad. Straight, All right, back. where can I Don't talk? Don't put your gum wrappers in the air straight, you <laughs> fuck. All right, where can I talk, Dad? The cigarette burns it when I stick yeah. it in there. <laughs> put my butt in there and the whole fucking car goes on fire. Is <laughs> what we used to do. Me and my, we had the Cadillac and you had the little, little, yes, those yes, little ashtrays that yes. used to pull out of the back of the seat. Yes. Yeah. We was eating that candy, sticking all the oh wrappers in the fucking thing. Chaz Shut says to Inns, yes, Inns. She's, they think that men are gross, so they have to be gross to make it. Thank in, you. A man's, That's exactly what it is. And they, Wait, it, it goes to make it in a man's world and it's not. You got to no. talk about what's going on. Talk about, you know, have you ever watched Stephen Wright? Love him. Mm -hmm. Stephen Wright was fucking genius. Yes. And he used to just talk about things that just went on throughout the course of a day. Yes. And the way he put it and the way he would go about mm -hmm. it was fucking hilarious. Was. He never ever. In his monotone voice. Monday. Mon monotone. Yeah. monotone yeah. voice. Just the way he would talk He would smile. never ever talk sexual. You know, Jerry Seinfeld doesn't talk about sexual shit. No, none of these guys, the, the, Kevin James doesn't talk about catch sexual shit. Nothing. Bob, Women comedians, it's just all funny they talk stuff. About. Bob, all a, they fucking talk. I have about. a client that wants to know if you've ever heard of Kenneth Williams. He's he's a British comedian. I think I have, and I think he's very good. Yeah, he yes, said. Yes, I think I've seen some of his stuff. He's very not good. alive anymore. He he killed himself, unfortunately. But he told me I had never heard of him, and he said he's very very funny. And his, and his last show, they said, "How did he do tonight?" He was like, "He killed it." But <laughs> 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 he killed it. Christy Miller writes, thanks, Graz. You guys are great. So much fun. You guys are awesome. Keep me posted, and I'll come out and do a show with you guys. So that would be nice. That would be I like nice. her. Christy she Miller, comedian great. Christy Miller. She's real. She she's is, real. She really is That's real. That's what I love about she her. Is. She's real. And she's a good-looking yeah, lady, she's too. Well. She's a she's, yeah, a, she's, str she's strong. You know, the guy, she looks strong. Kick your ass. She will kick my ass, she man. Will. You know that guy she mentioned, her favorite comedian being Paul Mooney? Yes. That oh. none of us knew? I didn't know either. He's the guy that runs that show on, on I think he does the Shack. Uh, well, he passed away in May of 2021. So. Okay. Well, everybody's dead tonight. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Well, but he was 80. I mean, he was 80 years old. Oh, by the way, Teresa wants to talk for a moment about how uh, Matthew Perry passed away. Can tell us all about Matthew Perry passing away. I, d I just wanted to... Well, since we brought up death, really? yeah. What? You had you had things... Grouse's 30 seconds couldn't occur because we had to talk about I know. That. Yeah. I know. It's over. Listen, I give you a lot of credit, man. You didn't call me all week and you walked in. I got nothing but love for you. I got nothing but love for you. But if you had a problem with me, wouldn't you call me? Uh, wouldn't you call me? But I didn't have a problem. Well, he talked into the telephone. I opened it up again. Sorry. <laughs> he talked into the telephone. Listen to me. Let it go. I let it go. Listen, I enjoy your company. I think you're doing great. I like your show. I think your show is top notch. I think you do a great interview. <laughs> She's staring at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, anyway, Paul Mooney. Yeah. So he, not only did he perform stand he collaborated with Red Fox, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle. He's no joke. Wrote for comedian Richard Pryor and the television series Sanford and Son, which I loved. I love that show. The yeah. fact that he wrote for Sanford and Son, I just, I love that. In Living Color and Chappelle show, as well as acting in the Buddy Holly story and Spike Lee's uh, film and on the Chappelle show. But uh, yeah, that's quite a uh, resume of comedians to work with for... Uh, Mr. Paul Mooney, that's quite mm -hmm. a career. Uh, I know the last time, because she was talking about Dice, the last time Dice was at Governor's, I was there. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I don't know. Things were different. I first met Dice back in the early 90s at Jimmy's Comedy Alley in Bayside. He was a nice guy, sweetheart. Dice? Dice. And he was saying, I was telling him how I was going to do... Um, Pips in Brooklyn, and he said. Sheep's at Bay. Yeah, and if he said if you do well in Pips, you could do well anywhere because it is the toughest crowd. To we make were land. not allowed to talk to him when he came into. You NW. couldn't when he was at Governor's recently or you, lately or whenever. Last time he was there was a while ago. No one, the door was shut. No one could talk to him. No one was allowed to talk to him. Nobody, except anyone in the green room performing with him, which was a little disappointing to me. Because I just wanted to reminisce about how we met back in the early 90s at Jimmy's, but it didn't happen. I never know what might happen one day. DeFilippo said, said Christy Miller was in White Snake video. 
She was in the White Snake video, <laughs> and she has an incredible ass. She was in the White Snake video. Yeah. He's single, Which Chris. Here I go again. Uh, yep. Yeah. And Taz also He's said, single. "Really? Did you see the stuff that Kevin Brennan said about Matthew Perry?" He was no, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't catch it. Stephen Wright quote: "I met her at Macy's. She was shopping. I was putting slinkies on the escalator." <laughs> <laughs> Joan Creepy Ash just says I hello. bought some batteries, but they weren't included, so I had to buy them again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by I have, the way, I uh, have a favorite Brenna, a David Brenner joke. Remember David Brenner? If you can't hear me. Com- hold on. Comedians who are dead. If you can't hear me, it's because I'm in parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just say that uh, Jones is out? Uh, they fear he is out for yeah, the season. It's, a, it's a, not confirmed. Anti Cru- It's a- ACL. He's done. He's gone. The Giants are going to go 2-14, and 2-15. and 15. I parked my car in a tow-away zone. When I came back, the entire area was missing. <laughs> Do you remember David Brennan? The entire area yeah. was okay, missing. Okay, here's my favorite David Brennan joke. Uh, there's a lot of quarterbacks in this draft, by the way. So Next. David Brennan's sitting on a subway. Sitting in the subway. The paper? Yeah, you know it. <laughs> See? And he's sitting on a newspaper, but he doesn't realize it. And the guy comes up to him and goes... You reading that? He goes, yes, I am. He stands up, turns it over, sat back down. Yeah, but turn the page. <laughs> He's reading it with his ass? Favorite David Brennan joke. He's talking about super dumb. Oh, my God. Super so dumb. Funny. He's I'm watching a movie. Guy sneaks, in, sneaks into a house. Guy sitting on his couch. Shoots him in the head three times. Bang, bang, bang. He goes, and then he tiptoes out. Why? Oh my God. He's reading. He's Why reading. would you tiptoe out? Exactly. <laughs> Super dumb. That's what he used to talk about. Super dumb. I saw him at Governor's. Um, but I guess about 12, 13 years ago. Bobby's playing in Jersey. Collins. Playing in Jersey. Bobby Collins. Yeah, he's playing in Jersey. Bob, are we going to see uh, Jimmy Bequickio's band at Kevin Walsh's place? I hope so. If they're open, She's she did a she, yes, it is. She did a soft opening on Saturday. She put it on. Oh, she put it on Facebook soft that open. they were having a soft opening on Saturday. What's the name of the What's bar? It's a hard opening. What, uh, is, it's, it's the daughter's name. I can't think of the daughter's I'll name. I'll find it. No lube. What Jimmy Bequickio's coming down two days, the seventeenth and the eighteenth, to East Rockaway. Okay. Um, oh god, I spilled some spot remover on my dog. <laughs> now I can't see him. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what, what is he doing? I would like to skate so, on the other side of the ice. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> Lila's Bar and Restaurant. <laughs> That's, there you go. A soft 33 opening. Main Street in East Rockaway. Okay. It's grand opening. When? Raffles, 50-50, our hosts. Who is that? Is that? Oh, Kevin Walsh and Michelle Miller are the hosts. Uh, it's, from, it's for Izzy. Uh, it's uh, November 17th <laughs> and November 18th. Vanessa's Revenge, music by Jimmy Bequickio, who's giving the figure to anybody on this. Right and now I'm having amnesia and deja vu at the same time. <laughs> I, <remember that> <laughs> I, think I'm for- I think I've forgotten this before. I remember that one. Vanessa's <laughs> Revenge, one. Jimmy Bequickio. <laughs> Keep going, Bob. That was all of his, that's all his shtick. Yeah. The yeah. one line yeah. just, you know. Run out. Oh, can so I share the seventeenth and eighteenth, or either one? Both of them, both days. Oh, go ahead, okay. go ahead. What What do you got on you? <laughs> so we got about ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Go. So, so today I'm sitting, I'm downstairs in my den watching football. My wife's upstairs in the living room watching probably a Hallmark, a Lifetime movie, or something like that. It is Sunday, okay? And she yells down to me, "Did you get any boxes from from Graz for the fundraiser?" So I says, I think I did, but I'm not sure. She goes, well, she's, he's asking me on Facebook. So I said, all right, we'll get two. Okay? So she sends him the numbers of the boxes to get. 85 right. and 67. 85 and 67. Okay. Okay? He calls me up and he goes. Right away. Right away. Right in mid-sentence. I gave it away. I don't have, I don't have 67. I got to have 66. <laughs> I'm like, hello. Hi, Graz. <laughs> How are nice you? To, how are you on Sunday wow. afternoon as you just scream? I have no idea really what's going on other than he's 
Because your yelling. wife is buying the boxes right, and, she's and you're watching football. And, right. I'm, and I'm just quietly watching football by myself. Right. So then he goes, well, I gave it away. So I yell up to my I go, he gave away 67. You have to get a different number. She replies very angrily. Well, why is he telling me that number's available if it's not available? Somebody took She's it. She's right. Well, somebody took it. Fair point. I forgot somebody. By the world's biggest, biggest critic. critic. Yes. So you gave her the number. So he getting. says you can have 66. Then he says, hold on a second. So then he calls the lovely Mrs. Grazade. Okay. If it's available. Saint Melissa, we should refer to her as. Yes, we should. Okay. To make sure now that 66 is available. Because now he's telling me it is, but now he's not sure because of the fiasco with the 67. Okay. Now he's got poor Melissa involved. Now she gets on the phone how with me. How does she answer the phone? She answers the phone oh, very God. similar similar to how I sound. With a big sigh like, oh. Oh, my God. Hi, Rich. I said, hi, hi no, Melissa. No, I go, I go, I go. I said, I, I, I know. I said, he's, he's calling and he's got to check the boxes. And she goes, I know. She goes, you know, you sound just like me. I go, yeah, I do sound like you. Like, we were just kind of sitting quietly, you know, relaxing on a Sunday afternoon before we were interrupted by the loud Anthony on the phone. She goes, yeah, exactly. I was enjoying some time away from him at the moment. She goes, and now he's calling me, and, and we have a problem. Watching a Hallmark movie. Right, she was. She was Christmas? watching a... She, oh, yes. dude, it's been going She's on for two the weeks. I know. It's, it's been, been on, on for two like weeks. Channel 93 or whatever the Oh, yes. shit. Oh, I've never seen fucking the same guy get the same girl and get the same gifts all the time. My wife loves them. It doesn't matter how many times she's seen them. She doesn't care. All right, so go ahead. So she has the same disgust in her voice that I thought. I go, Melissa, you sound very much like me. She goes... I do. She goes, Rich, I was just sitting here relaxing. I got time away from him, and now he's calling, yelling at me about boxes. I said, well, he did the same thing to me. So we had a very moment. symbiotic had a moment, moment there we together. Moment. Yes. Okay, at the behest of the phone the call <laughs> of, uh, from, from, from Anthony. Now, I have my boxes are secured now. Yes, and Bob, you have a box okay. too, just so you know. Thank you. You bought one last week. You want to know the number? Yeah, what is it? Okay, hold on. I'll get it to you. 66. <laughs> no, no, it was sixty-seven. That was my. That was the first pick. Wow. Teresa, you taking a? I box? guess sixty-eight was taken. Uh, no, uh, sixty-six. He won. No, sixty-nine was taken. Twenty-one ten. Uh, Bengals. Two minutes to go in the third. Not much of a game here. Buffalo's uh, getting mad. Bob, you got number in Cincy. Ninety. No, 90. I think 90, I said 98. 98, yeah. Oh, well, you got oh. the one you, you wanted. And you got, 90, well, you you got 98. 98. Oh, you got, got the one you wanted. Yes, he did. Because he took it last week when there was nobody. See, I put it out to my friends and stuff, and we had about 20, 25 people buy boxes. So I'm almost there now, finally. It was. It's tough, dude. That's not easy to sell. It's not easy to sell the shit. Yeah. You're asking the same people for the same money all the time. That's for After the kids. a while, it's annoying. Did you share the show, Teresa? For the you kids. Know, They're going to get some nice stuff. Teresa? I don't have my phone on. You know? Oh, well. You're only 12 once. Only Might as well enjoy it. <laughs> you know, go to Cooperstown. Bob, what does Steve Wright stuff. say? I got pulled over by a cop. He said, do you know the speed limit here is 50 miles per hour? So I said, oh, that's okay. I'm not going that far. <laughs> He got such a fucking brain with you. <laughs> Is he uh -oh. one of your favorites? Yeah. Yeah. You like him? Do you like Stephen? You Is like Stephen Dancer? <coughs> What's I can't another see word? All the other names, Gross. What's another word for Oh, th Joan Croupier should join me. So. What's another word for th thesaurus? <laughs> <laughs> Who's on tomorrow night for you, T? Kevin Barbaro. Wait, hold on. Actor? Actor, writer. No more comedians, huh? You Producer. You don't pull no more comedians out anymore. I'm going to be having some comedians. How about some on. podcast hosts? I'll be doing that, too. Yeah, who's coming? I huh? Actually, <coughs> I want Christy on my show. We talked about it a while ago. But I told her she can't curse because it goes to cable. So. Well. I want you Is on. that what you worried about me? Would you think I would walk in there? No, and curse? you didn't curse. First of all, I've had you on my show. You put your Thank feet you up so on my much. table. Correct. And you didn't curse. No. You were good. I was going to be good the other you night. You behaved. I was going to be good the other night. Next time. Let you me behaved know. at the request of Teresa. Who's, who's, <laughs> There's going to be a lot of 
Beep, 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 beep. What movie was this gentleman? Who, who he's got a. He's oh, got quite he's a. More a of he's got quite a, an IMDb over here. Yeah, he's more of a commercial actor. You've mm. seen him on national commercials. Go ahead, he's Rich. done a lot of national commercial work. Uh, I don't have the list of the commercials. It just gives like his. Uh, his creds. Yeah, his previous uh, credits. Yeah. Faction Two, The Departure, yeah. Perfect Murder. Mm -hmm. Uh, Count Time the Movie. But he's known for a lot of commercial uh, work. He's got a commercial reel, just commercial. He was in Family Business. Commercial. That's a uh, yeah. pretty famous uh, movie there. Coming from Manhattan tomorrow night. Uh, Long Island Light. But I hope he gets on time. He's might, driving. Might need a fill. Waterfall. I'm going to do. Bob? Bobby? Uh, what are you doing, Bobby? He's still uh, you're, you're, reading. You're still reading, huh, Bobby? Yeah, I'm looking at these. He's crazy. He's got three uh, three things upcoming. Yes, he does. Yeah. Roommates on Elm Street, yeah. Bar Chronicles, He actually was a coach. Don't Wait don't. He was actually a coach for 20 years. Really? And he, he, he had his own. Coach of what? He had his own uh, double, double, uh, NCAA, NC. C double A. That's basketball, football. That's, yes, that's, yes, okay. yeah. he, What do you coach for? Twenty what, years. It, do, it didn't say in his bio. If you go to IMDb, it's in his bio. But I have to ask him. But he was mm. very uh, athletic as a as a young man. Like he ran track and he he um, what is he what played baseball. He, he played football. Squeegee. <laughs> Squeegee he did tomorrow. everything. This guy very mm -hmm. athletic. You in bad boy? No, oh. not yet. No. <laughs> Pat Walsh saying hello, saying sorry I'm late. Hey, Pat. Hi, T. How are you? Hello, Pat. Good, Pat. Hello, Rich. Go to hell, Grabs. Nice. You didn't say that. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I would never. Of course he did. Would you think I would throw anything in? Yes. <laughs> what, are you sick? Something wrong with you? No, I just, I lost my voice when I did the show on Friday night, so I'm just trying to get it back. Mm. How was it? Was it bad? It was good. It was a really good show. It was, I mean, it. Not for nothing. I don't know when. I'm looking into Peppercorns in Hicksville, and I'm looking into this place called the the, the something idiot in Patchwork. Oh, the village idiot. The village, village idiot, idiot in Patchwork. Yeah. Why don't you look at the 1940s brewery too? He might do something. Charlie. Is that in Patchwork? No, he's in Holbrook. Holbrook. As long as it can hold a hundred people or less. Yeah. And they or serve. Less. Yeah. Well, we like to top. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, we'll more. do 200 people. That reminds me of the Stephen Ray joke. Well, sign of the cashier <laughs> said that. Twelve items or less. So I told Ten them. Ten items or less. <laughs> so I told them my name was Les. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweat here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I had no voice yesterday, and my entire family was very, very happy about that. Yeah. Wow. Well, could have lasted another day. Would have been great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, these things happen. What are you gonna do? Uh -huh. Bob, what do you think about the World Series being the lowest viewing? Lowest I, view? I, 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 I'm not surprised. I wanted Texas to win. I'm glad they did. And I just thought it. Who the fuck wanted to see an '84 win? At, um, Arizona Diamondbacks playing in the World Series. I did not. I wanted to see. If you would have gave me a World Series where it should have been the Atlanta Braves against the uh, Baltimore Orioles or something similar, like the Dodgers against maybe uh, the, the Rays, then it would have been something interesting. Do you think they would have got higher? Oh, no, definitely. So you're telling me that because the Diamondbacks are there, who cares? What about Texas? Nobody cared about them really either. I, I found them more interesting than Diamondbacks, but at least they had 90 wins. Did you watch any, right, Rich, at all? I watched the, uh, yeah, I watched, I watched a lot of the World Series. I, I did not I'm not one of those people who didn't watch it. See, I no, watched it all, I watched, too. I watched the whole World Series. <laughs> did you watch series. any? Well, Damn. listen, game one was great, okay? Game two was a rout, all right? Game three uh, was actually a good game. I think it was 4-1 or... No, didn't they win 11-7? That, that was the second the game. Game they were winning like it was two blowouts yeah. yes. out of five games, so you know. But I thought Arizona was gonna certainly come back in the last game, and that guy pitched phenomenal. What's his name? Gall Gallon, Gallon for Arizona. He pitched a great game in Game Five. I mean, I know they, you know, they ended up losing, but he had like a no hitter going into like the seventh sixth inning. inning. Yeah, yeah sixth inning. Six. And he ended up losing. Right. And right. he ended up losing. Yeah, but you know, I mean, the guy pitched great. But what are you gonna do? Uh, but uh, listen, I like watching. I'm watching anyway. I don't care if it's I watch two, two of the most random but teams that there are. I can't blame people for not wanting, but, to, right. not having I interest. I understand why people aren't watching. It's very regional, huh? Now it's just a regional. No, it's just, Look, they're yeah. even re-examining this now. They're re-examining this whole playoff format because they know how disgusted people are with it and how bad it is to have a team that finished 20 games or more behind 
the Los Angeles Dodgers, and they go to the World Series. Come on, what play the whole season for? What for? 20 games. But they could have like They, they could have won every day for three weeks, and the Dodgers could have lost every day for three weeks, and then they but, finally would have been a game up. But they went through all the other tougher component, uh, opponents on the road. Because they got hot. Okay. And any team could get hot. So how the, do they not deserve to the be The Oakland there? A's could have got hot and won some games. Big deal. Okay, but they did They don't belong there. They do not belong there. You do not. You got teams that won 100-plus games. Four, three or four teams did. And the and the uh, and the Rays won ninety nine. They belong in the World Series. Well, End of story. If if that team got hot, it's not like they changed. The Oakland teams. A's could get hot and win. Well, it's not like they changed players. My point is, it was the same team that won the eighty four games, right? Pretty much, except they had Tommy Pham added or whatever the hell they. Had. Yeah, all right. So he added what Pham at the trade deadline? One guy. You know what I mean? It's not like. You know, and then and then they got out. Okay, so the team has the ability to and play they got really cold at that in level. The World Series at the end. So at the end, they did. Absolutely. So you're telling me you tell me if it's yeah. Yankees. You tell me if it's Yankees. Say Diamondbacks. It's still gonna have that. It's still gonna have low viewership. Yankees no, because the no. Yankees are in it. They no. wouldn't have low viewership. So in other words, if the Yankees are in it, yeah, it the Dodgers Dino- are in it, maybe the San Francisco Giants are in it. Sure. What happens if the Baltimore, what happens if it was the Orioles? The only, the only juice in this World Series was that Texas had never won a World Series in the history of the franchise. Correct. That was the only yes. real storyline yes. that had any juice to this mm-hmm. World Series at all. Otherwise, you need teams, yeah, with national appeal. Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers. You know, even the Brewers, you would have you would have sparked uh, people to get behind. You know yeah. what I mean? Just because they hadn't been there in a while. But that's, you know, the Brew Crew. It's probably a little more appeal than the Diamondbacks. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Nobody had. Are we getting kicked out? I don't really oh. want to stop the show. Oh, well. But I thought you might well, like to. No, no, but he had grass too, had Bobby too, Sarah too wants to sing the song. Too late now. Bobby has to have a conversation. So I didn't change my clocks last night. Is this a baseball well, we got, question? We got a question over here. Yeah, Rocky. Rocky. How are you doing? According to a source at, at, at Strong Uh-oh. Island TV uh-huh. and Strong Island Radio, yeah. the Texas Rangers were the only major league team that didn't have an LGBA pride uh, That's day. true. A pride day. That is day. true. That is true. They the canceled ones. theirs. Right. From what I heard also, it was in DeGrom's contract that they weren't allowed to have one or something to that extent. DeGrom's I like contract. him even more. Did you hear that? I did not hear that. Are no. you ringing a bell over there? That was, what? Sly, I have to tell you, I just watched a documentary. I just watched a documentary Saturday night on Netflix. Oh, that was good? Loved I, it. I was in it. Was loved I it. In it? Loved I it. Was in it. You were in All it. Right, I loved it. What was it about? About, about Sly, about me. Oh, yeah? About him that and Rocky about, and his career. Oh. Really? Yeah. That's just awesome. this, baby. You got you to gotta watch it, guys. You know, he is a real American success story. He is, and that's what it was about. He is the guy who yep. took a script. He wrote that script yep. for he, Rocky. Yep. He's about to lose it. And He was from Hell's mm. Kitchen. They didn't want him to play Rocky. They wanted no. someone else to do it. They were right. like, you know, we'll take the script. We'll do it. We'll produce it. I think they offered But you him can't like, be in it. And he's like, well, then I'm not doing it. Yeah, they offered him Forget like. It. They offered him 50 grand or something they, like that. They started it with 50. I think it went up to like 360 or something like that. And he said, no, I'm and not it became, doing it. it beca- Rocky became one of the biggest movie yes. franchises of all Absolutely. time. And Rambo. And Rambo. Rambo. He, 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 he parlayed that. And then they interviewed, movie, they interviewed Schwarzenegger, too, because. They said, you know, he did this, I did yeah, this, he did that, I did that. And there was a little tit for tat going on. I saw, Schwarz- I saw Schwarzenegger the other day. So when Schwarzenegger was governor, a hotel in California offered, California. Uh, <laughs> offered him room and board yeah. whenever he wanted to go there when he was governor. Okay. And said, after you become governor yeah. and when you retire, you sh- that offer still stands. Is it oh. hookers too? He showed up about two months ago to the hotel. And they rescinded his, they rescinded his the offer. Wow! Because he's not in the public office anymore, and everything no. else. Yeah, what do they gain from it anymore? Well, well, he proceeded to, to to fall asleep underneath his. He has a statue out there in California. He got into one of those, uh, you know, when you go hiking. 
a, a knapsack, yeah, sleeping yeah, bag. Yeah. Backpack? No, you sleep in a, uh, the a sleeping, sleeping bag. bag. Sleeping I bag. Could, all right, I'm having a tough time with the words. Ooh. I'm going on a, uh, what, what's another? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you've a missed? trip. Uh, yeah. Excursion. Uh, excursion. A, so he, he a s- hike. He slept in a sleeping bag underneath the statue. Does it? have nothing so well, you see who your friends well, really that, are you must know Graz, that Real everyone who is down. your friend is genuinely your friend i'm tired of you it's great. Uh, right joke oh, i want um oh, it's a, i painted the walls in my first floor of my house to match the walls on the second floor of my house <laughs> so i never have to go upstairs oh my god where is this is your computer dead yeah, my battery died. His battery died. How do you abort up and not and not being able to? Well, because when I plug in, you get noise through the. Well, maybe if we're sitting over here, I wouldn't. <laughs> they like static. static. So Arnold Schwarzenegger sat on the slept on the statue Just in California. Watch it. Yes. Just watch it. Yes. It's right. really good. Why? Sly, I enjoy why it. Why did immensely. he do that? I, don't, I still don't understand why. Because he showed how when he was a governor. And everybody wanted him, and he was on top. They loved him. He was him. trying to make a statement. And then because he went there again, they denied him. He slept in a Saying sleeping bag underneath the statue. Because right. nobody wanted, nobody cared about him anymore because he wasn't in office anymore. Well, why so it shows just, you when you're high. Why didn't he just go home? So, uh, so we can expect Cuomo to be sleeping on the Tappan Zee. Right. Show? Why did he sleep under the statue? What did that prove? Sly story, everyone has to watch it. Uh, His mom put, and dad divorced. Really your mom and dad divorced. You went to go live with your dad. Your brother went to go live with your mom. Two totally different lives. His brother made Amazing. that song. And his brother said, as Frank soon as Stallone. as soon as Frank said, as soon as Rocky came out, I was only known as Sylvester Stallone's brother. That yeah, was it. That was it. And his father yeah. was very physically abusive to Sly, like really bad. Oh, it was bad. Bad. He didn't talk to him for years. Did you years. ever see the word movie The Lords of Flatbush? Yes. That's the great. That was Are you that kidding? was the beginning for the Stallone. Yes. Alone. But that wasn't yeah. his first movie. You know what no, his first wasn't. movie was? He actually played a, a crook and a, a thief in a movie his called very, The Second. Uh, very, very first movie was a soft porno. No, no. Well, it's yes, not it really was. a movie. Did not it? say it on the documentary, but it is a fact. It's not really a featured oh, so you're film. Just making this up. No, I'm not. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's, it's true. true. It's, true. it's not really a movie, though, is it? So true. I watched Blazing Saddles the other night. Oh my I God! Up, I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning. I was, I was. They sleep. won't put that on. Where'd they Me put Mongo. that on? It was on. Uh, was like it on Turner Classic? Flicks or something like that. Oh. It was Why won't the they uncut. Put that? Completely uncut. Why won't they put that on? Because of all the, today. Because the N word is used over and over. In the N word. I hate that. A lot of racial overtones. And uh, a lot of you know, a lot of yeah sexual stuff and shit like that. They, it's very hard to put on. Like, yeah. Where the white woman at? That's exactly what he did. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he did. Um, with badges? Great we movie. don't need no stinking badges. It was, it was just <laughs> fucking hysterical. Um, you the know, it was Cleavon Little. Yeah. The sheriff. Yeah. And uh, Mel Brooks, that was probably the movie that, well, he had the producers before that, but he did that, then he did Young Frankenstein. Like a, That was perfect for he hasn't made anything really good since. Young Frankenstein is awesome. Oh, and I watched um, the movie uh, Getting to Know Otto, something Otto with Tom Hanks. Did no. anyone see that? No. It was really good. It's Otto. about a guy that's who's... The name? It's called Otto. No, it's not just called Otto. Yes, it's called Otto. No. No. You know, I've gotten it's to the point where Otto. I don't watch anything But it's anything how he Tom wants Hanks to kill himself and he... Really? Can't. It Why? just doesn't work out. I don't know. I'm not big on Tom Hanks anymore. He's played out. Played out. Yeah, ever since um, I got really tired of the movie. After Castaway? Uh, but I can watch Big, but I can watch the movie Big and laugh over and over again. Big was good. I can Big laugh was good. when she... Good. <laughs> Bachelor Party was better. she says you want to be on top or the bottom, remember that? Yes. With the bunk beds? Yeah. That was good. That was a fun movie. He was young then. He was really young. Yeah. But I can what watch that movie What about the Bachelor like, Party with like Tony Katane? Oh, oh, yeah. Tony Katane, also Katan. from the White That's Snake part, uh, yeah. music video, by the way. Is that better? Do you remember him in Bosom Buddies? You fix what? Complaining my is going out. They can't hear me that well. Oh. oh. 
So. I heard you have a problem with that. I didn't notice. Yeah, a little anecdote's a little addendum. I did it's not notice. <laughs> it needs to be fixed. Uh, fix your addendum. <laughs> Bob, you want to put the Cleveland sign up one more time and oh, remind yeah, and oh, yeah. remind everybody what to do? Yes, yeah. election day is Tuesday, folks. He's not telling you who to vote for. To anything, Your vote makes you a know, difference. Every vote counts, and uh, I think it's very, very important that you get out and vote for whoever you think might be the best candidate. Yeah. I really do. I, and it's up to you to pick the one you think is the best. I don't want to influence anyone, but you really should vote for Don Clay. And if those folks out here should be voting for Saladino, Joe Saladino. Yeah. Absolutely. And, yeah. um, Who else should I vote? If you wish to vote for whoever and you want to. But it's you know. got to trip all the way. Jim. Is he getting through this? Do you want to vote for got a couple of money. Is works he hard for you I every day. He he's getting through this. He's, getting, he's, going to, he's going all these trials, and he's not able to campaign. Is he going to win? We got turmoil going all across the world. We Does got, he have to campaign? all across everywhere. And what we're worried about is whether Donald Trump mis misrepresented his value of his Congo. Right. Get out of here. So, so he you think he's, so you think he's not going to have a problem? You know what? I'd, I'd vote for him if he was in jail. Let's put it that way. He'd be like, uh, he'd be like a mobster running the country from prison. <laughs> oh, that was the other thing I watched. Get Gotti. Get Gotti. That was really good, too. Get Gotti was Get good? Get Gotti. Yep. Get Gotti was good. Yep. All right, Get Rich, Gotti. did you uh, get a list of everybody that was listening tonight? Uh, well, the battery died, but I could try and do it from memory. Let's see if you get it right. Go ahead. Uh, Bruno Coppola. Yeah. Chris Smith. Yeah. Taz, the resident artist. Yeah. Greg Filippo. Yep. Ann Rothney. Yep. Joan Krupe Asher. Yep. Uh, Christy Miller. Yep. Um, Mike Bott. Mike Bott. Love Mike Bott. Pat Walsh. Pat Walsh. Uh, Greg Filippo listen. I'm sure Miles yes. Mack is on there. Yes, he shared the show for us. Too. Shared the show. See that? Me. And he shared the show. Uh, He's a who else? No Debbie Broderick tonight? No oh, Debbie Broderick tonight. No Debbie Broderick. Jack got hurt during flag football because oh. Mike Bott's team is dirty. Keep oh, going. well, feel better, Jack. And uh, Mike Bott, try and, uh, try and uh, carry that into the playoffs against Grazadeh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the Valley Streams tra train station tomorrow. I have to come to this game. So, wow. Roz, you or Mike Bott, please let me know if you guys play each other in flag playoffs where next weekend. I want to be there. Flag? Where are you going to be? I'll be playing flag football at the uh, Valley Stream <laughs> train station tomorrow morning. 6.15. And Beeple Ball is not for the spring now, right? Oh, my God. This is like oh, my God. No, it got canceled. No, I, I, I'm, I am Roz, handing out. The ball. I, I am handing out. Political paraphernalia at Still? the point train station. Well, tomorrow Tuesday's morning. election day. Tuesday's election day. So I'll be wow. handing out Clavin stuff and Ali stuff and and Janine Driscoll stuff and Missy Miller stuff. Mm -hmm. Not know. Christy Miller. Misty Miller. Missy Miller. Uh, Missy, Miller. Missy, Missy Miller. Missy Miller. Miller. Name's Melissa. Melissa. Did I get everybody or who did I miss? Uh, you, no, you did. You did great. I did Taz. You got Taz. You got Pat Wolf. You did good. You got Kate Anne Murray. Rothy. Um, She's listening. Who? Kate Murray's listening. Kate, Kate Murray. Oh. Right. Joe Saladino. Oh, Saladino. Saladino's Laura Meyer. Right. They, 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 Steve they, Labriola. They for they, they, they foregoing campaigning. They listen to limo. That's right. Wow. <laughs> All of our That's impressive. great people that work for us. Well, my the, two uh, buddies at Sirius XM, thank you for listening tonight. I appreciate it very much. That's why we're at the spot tonight. I really? Gave a different look. Really? At the behest of me. At the behest. <laughs> at the behest of, of you. Bobby. Behest. I, I wanted the set change, and this was much, much better. You're happy? Are you happy now? I'm happy, Pappy. Well, He's we're in front happy. of a brick wall. We feel more comfortable. When right. Bobby's I mean, happy, everybody's happy. Uh, let's forget it. He fixed it. That's okay. For Bobby Inzarello, Inz41, BobbyInzarello.com or Inz41.com. I love it. It looks great. For Tea Time with Teresa, Teresa Farrell tomorrow night. Your guest is? Kevin Barbaro. Kevin Barbaro. A, a big red halo over my head. You do. You have a big halo. For Board Up, <laughs> for board up Extraordinaire, Richard Zarelli. Richard Zarelli, thank you very much. for. The, what's his name in the back? <laughs> Bobby Lacerra. Hello? Bobby Lacerra. Put your window up back there. Wow. There would be no there is no grass on, on, on the motor. There will be no grass on the motor. He's backseat driver. <laughs> no more. For Bobby Lacerra, Strong Island TV, strongisland.com. For me, Anthony Grazzi Day. You know what we say every week. Pay it forward. Treat people with love and respect. Buy him a drink. Buy him a soda. Buy him a meal or something like that. 
What? 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 <laughs> buy, buy, him a, buy him a soda. Drink. Yeah, something. buy him a soda. Who? Buy him a meal. Who? A person. An odd, odd person. If you're at so I'm going to find oddball people like at the train station oh tomorrow morning. God. Right. I'm going to say, listen. Buy him a bagel. I'm t- uh, come on, me and you were going for breakfast. Get him a pay Dunkin' it, Donut. Pay it forward if you can. For te- Cup of you coffee. You pay $20 on the couch, give it to a waiter for an extra tip. And attends Christy Miller. Catch Chris, Christy Miller, comedian Christy Miller. She might be the new Cher on Broadway. For yeah, t- girl. I'm bringing everybody a Pellegrino. Like uh, Pellegrino. Uh, you are? Aranciata Rosa. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> love when you speak Italian. Oh! Excellent. We'll see you next week. We got a couple more shows. Ciao. All right. Bye. See you soon.